Hello, everybody Hi. on Twitch. Hi. Welcome to the official Paizo channel. My name is Tyler Rhodes, and tonight you are going to be watching some Starfinder. The name of our show is Deep Water Deep. Deep, Deep Water Deep. Deep. <laughs> it, is, it, is a, it is a show. It is a good show. It is a Starfinder show. Uh, this is the second season of, of Deep Water Deep, and we are seven episodes in. So if you've not seen the first six episodes of this season, it's fine. It's <laughs> fine. Everything's going to make sense sense you know it, it, we're, we're gonna get caught up and you won't even know uh that you hadn't caught the previous six episodes you're gonna be like oh this is so easy to follow what a fun group of enjoyable people wow and give them a follow button maybe even give us a subscribe subscribe you want to subscribe you want to subscribe to this channel that's a great idea i think you really think you should because i'll tell you what if you subscribe to the official paizo channel you get two things two fantastic benefits well three things two things two important things first of all uh, you get access to the emotes on the Paizo official channel. Uh, you get, uh, I, I, there's a, they're all, the, the golem, and he's waving, he's got a little heart, he's scared, he's mad, uh, and you get some dice that are hot, dice that are cold. If we roll well, you can put the dice hot emote into Twitch chat. Uh, and if we fumble, you can put, you know, it's fine. You get it. Um, we fumble a lot. We yeah. fumble a lot. So <laughs> too much. That, yeah. that icon to, will get to do much use. use. That one, yeah. <laughs> if the dice are all reasonable, you don't have to react. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. If we're rolling, like, you know, in the low teams, yeah. it's, it's fine. It's not, it's not great. Yeah. It's not does bad. A, does a shrug emoji? Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. still yeah. a Yeah. Fair. Yeah. It's fair. You're, you're doing fair, and I'm proud of you. Um, so that is uh, that is the first one. The second benefit that you get from subscribing to the Paizo channel um, is that I, DM, GM Tyler Rhodes, I will place your Twitch handle in the game. Yes. We already have one subscriber in our chat right now, and that is somebody by the name of Dune Pook. Who? Mm -hmm. Dune Pook. Who's that? Are you in no, Twitch no, no. chat? What a weird name that is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some of you may recognize that name. That is uh, the illustrious Dan Peck, and unfortunately, Dan has been laid low by, I'm going to say... I just thought he grew hair. <laughs> Isn't that right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that Great point. Really, that's what happens when he just lets it go. Yeah. He just yeah. becomes... A completely different person. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. It's a yeah. little yeah. With a different accent Samson. and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. because... Becomes British. Uh, uh, feel my better, is in my Dan. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You. So feel well, Dan. You Thank you for better, not man. infecting yeah. us with your... Pour some tea out for one's homies. Yes, yes. Uh, he will be back hopefully uh, next week uh, along with all of us as we continue. With This is a 10 episode season, so we're in episode 7, so we have 8, 9, 3 episodes after oh this. My god. Mm. Holy oh cow. My god. So close. How oh exciting. No. Um, oh. So, yes, we missed you, Dan. I hope you were feeling well, and thank you for the sub, because I now am obligated to put the name Dune Pook into my game Hooray! somewhere, <laughs> and I gave him something very fun. Uh, so uh, you guys are going to meet Dune Pook hopefully we'll today. See. We'll see. Uh, like I... I've given you guys a couple of options, a couple of different hooks, things that you can uh, that you can continue on. Yeah. One of those hooks contains a Dune Pook. Mm -hmm. So I well, hope you picked the right one. Well, we have the uh, option of ejecting Twill from the crew and taking on Dune Pook. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah absolutely. I, and I think he may want that because it's gonna it's an awesome character. Oh, yeah. um, so the that, character completely identical in every way, just called Dune Pook. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's exactly. It's, it's an android. You just just wipe the memory and replace it. Um, so yes, that, that is uh, that is the second benefit to subscribing. The third is just the knowledge that you know that you are supporting content creators and your favorite game, uh, favorite game, what are they called? The game de development company, Paizo? They're a publishing company. So yeah. um, you can support Paizo that way, and Paizo yeah. would really appreciate it. Uh, speaking of Paizo, tonight uh, the game this session is sponsored by Paizo. It is brought to you by Paizo. So we're not going to be annoying. We're not going to beg you for tips and 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 treats and and whatnot during the gameplay we're just gonna we're gonna hit you hard and fast with some some like grounded uh, uh serious role playing and rules <laughs> following yeah. Yeah. action. I yeah. can't promise I won't beg for treats at some point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jordan Jordan may beg for treats, but but that's up to him. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm a company man and I'm like, "Hey, <gasps> don't even bother." Because Paizo was so generous in sponsoring this stream. 
Oh, God. Sorry. No. It's, it started. That, it's not even close. We're very serious. Here. Yeah, we're so serious. We're very... There you go. If, however, you are itching to support uh, either Paizo or Saving Throw, this is a joint production between Paizo Publishing and Saving Throw, you can go to the Saving Throw merchandise channel and purchase some merch. We got one uh, uh, t-shirt that is a picture of our good friend Beck doing exactly that. Yeah. And it um, has the best phrase on it ever. Yes. What does it say? Oh, yeah. It's, do not be alarmed. Alarm shall be met with violent force. Yes, which is just good advice in general. <laughs> we also have this shirt, which I have worn to death, and I'm probably going to have to order another one. It looks good. Um, it looks like good. faded. It looks it's nice. nice. Yeah. 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 It's a yeah. distressed. It, it is very lovely. Now it's it didn't come this way. Exactly. So. Yeah, and now it's vintage. You too can distress oh, your shirt so just as good. much. And it's so yeah. comfortable, too, because I got the tri cotton blend. Yeah. Oh, oh, it was worth the extra money. Luxurious. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if you guys want to go to the same with merch channel, buy some merch. Uh, wear that merch to a con, and I'll be like, hey, Shimixon, if you're in chat, I, he Shimixon owns this shirt. And I saw him wearing it at Gen Con, and I was like, hey, brother, what's <laughs> up? I don't know who you are. But then we met, and he's a good he's a good lad. He owns that specific shirt. You're just leasing it. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. He mailed it to me, and, it, and it, I, I was like, oh, it has touched the great skin of Shimixon. It feels good. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's another way you can support the channel. Or if you just want to subscribe to Saving Throw, that's fine, too. You know, we would really appreciate that. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that is it for the announcements from me. Uh, we are going to go around the table. We're going to briefly introduce all of the players at the cha or at the uh, table. And as is tradition, I am going to start to my right with Yay. this man, the man in black, they call him. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The man with the black turtleneck and the earrings. Yeah. Um, it's a longer monogram. The dangles. It's the dangles. <laughs> My earrings dangle. Uh, uh, who are you, sir, and who are you playing tonight? My name is Jesse Durant, and as you can tell, I saw a little son this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Jesse, said, Jesse was hitting people with sticks. Yes, I was yeah. hitting people with sticks, and it was a lot of fun. A stray war. Look it up. Oh, no, I was just going to say, let's not explain it. <laughs> 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 no. That's it, that's it. Just a general and, in trouble so with yep, the law. Follow you on Instagram to see... Oh yes, yeah. The, I'm gonna post some stuff up on Instagram mm -hmm. at some point. Just Jesse Durant mm -hmm. about hit stick hitting stuff. It'll be it'll be super cool. Yeah. Yeah. And also flooding and hail and you know other biblical type of destruction that was happening. Locusts. Yeah. 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 yeah, it was insane. Probably some locusts. Yes. <laughs> but I tonight will be playing Captain William Dean of the Garnet Laser Brash Death, which is currently missing ish. But we're going to get it back. Not a big deal. It goes missing from time to time. We've still got three episodes. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, uh, holding it together here. Because uh, what a crew of, of different yeah. things that they want and different drives. But we all want to save Deep Water Prime because yeah. we're all Deep Water Deep. Yeah. That is the one tie that binds. Yes. Mm. Is it the really deepness is. of your Deep Waterness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very true. Absolutely. And, uh, Deep waters run still. No, that doesn't mean anything. I, sorry, that sounded <laughs> really profound. <laughs> it was running before I said it out loud. Yeah. I oh, apologize. That's, that's, there's a quote no there. Need to there is this something. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's flipped. flipped. It's the, yeah. You, you, exactly. Yeah, it, I thought that would lead to sort of play. like profound new proverbial meaning, but it's it wrong. Didn't. It was just pointless. <laughs> like, Lizard Man, what are you about? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> My name is Jordan Pridgen, and I am playing No Bobobank, who is a uh, Vesk soldier who wants to die because he thinks this world is probably worse than what happens next because that's what he's been <laughs> taught. But he likes the crew, so he's kind of gotten used to not dying. And then a couple episodes ago, <laughs> we almost died, so... Yeah, very exciting. Mm -hmm. What a twist! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and he's been, he's been off cheese bodoing. Yep, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll, we'll get into that when we uh, when we start. But um, uh, yeah, he uh, Jordan Jordan was absent last week, and so Nobavebek was having adventures um, with uh, with a friend of the crew uh, and Amira's boyfriend. I think uh, is that fair to say? Um, no, no? Oh, I, I mean, would, I would I would temper yeah. it a little bit. Okay, uh, maybe, maybe like not putting a label. It's on not it. official. Yeah, you guys are just kind of you know trying things out. Let's 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 do, we're taking it slow. <laughs> <laughs> Very, very, very slow, yeah. <laughs> so yes, we'll, uh, yeah. we'll we'll catch up on all, on all the fun uh, the fun goings on of if, no Baba Vec and Cheese Bodo. If you guys break up, we get to keep Cheese Bodo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Permanent member of the group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so all right. Well, thank you, Jordan. And uh, yeah, let's let's continue on around the table. With uh, this young lady. Hi. Um. My name is. <laughs> I'm not 
dating cheese bone. <laughs> 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 ah, no, no, no. Okay, hey, uh, my name is uh, Ravity. Um, I am playing Mira Riata Jirsu Jane of Clan Ren, House Bane, sent the Lion Durell. Uh, she's a Kasata Solarian and she is a confused girl. Um, yeah, she's just. <laughs> She's just a little all over the place, uh, trying to figure out, like, no. She knows that, like, her loyalty lies at deep water. But, um, if you haven't figured it out, the situation is kind of complicated. So she often finds herself, you know, like, <laughs> siding with one side and then, like, kind of flip-flopping and going to the other. Um, but at the end of the day, her heart is in the right place and she knows she wants to be with deep water. It just... You know, things get a little muddled sometimes. Also, she likes to kill things, and I think that's a pretty good summary of her. Mm -hmm. Right, yes. Her, her, her yeah. loyalty is to the people of yes. the water. Yes, yes. And so if she needs to burn bridges to, to get... She needs to, to jump out mm -hmm. ships. Jump out of ships and, you know, leave people behind. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then that is that is what she's got to do. Even if she's got to go back, like, 30 minutes later and be like, I actually messed <laughs> yes. up and for, broke the wrong side. For the good of the people. <laughs> Threaten all of her yeah. superior officers. <laughs> 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 oh, God. on everyone. Yeah. You're like, no, look, it was a symbolic ship jump. <laughs> yes. like, yeah, but you're down there. <laughs> yeah, it's a little distance. Yeah, but, just, but yeah, heart is in the right place. Heart is in the right place mm -hmm. at the end of the day, and, and, and she wants what's right for deep water. And so that's why she's with this team at the end of the day, because uh, I think she recognizes that. And she used to be with the Finally, stewards and yeah. no longer is, um, because they've decided to abandon the planet. Yep. And she can't have that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't can't throw your money that way. Yeah. Come, come with the, the true champions. The true champions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, thank you for joining yeah, us. Yeah, of course. I'm really and excited. The last person uh, at this table is our guest tonight. Hi there. Uh, he, is, he is a repeat guest just because he brings it. He brings the thunder every time. Mm -hmm. um, so you, you can introduce you yourself, honor sir. You honor me, sir. You ah, really are. Please, I, uh, I hi, heart. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Hector Lowe. Uh, I'm a writer, an Englishman, lover of meat, enemy of nonsense. And I play uh, Sebastian Chirrup, who is an Isoki uh, intergalactic war correspondent and investigative journalist and documentary filmmaker. Uh, his allegiance, if he has any, is to the truth. Uh, although he doesn't seem to be a sort of hands-off Journalist, he's, he's not. He hasn't got that sort of David Attenborough distance from the subject. He's <laughs> willing to get right in and interfere with what's going on for the benefit of medicine. the story. Please, I, Attenborough amazing. bribed all those yeah. animals to act like that. <laughs> it was all scripted, a hundred percent of it. And sometimes he pushed the penguins right off the cliff. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, it, it's the new journalism where you just actually get actively involved exactly. in the reporting on. So he has that sort yeah. of fealty to. He's, I think, he, I mean, he's been down in the trenches at this point. He's he's been deeply involved with the uh, rebellion on Deepwater and has uh, tried to expose it to the wider world, uh, winning several awards, a certain amount of acclaim, and it's now something of a a celebrity. I I, I think in a sort of. Maybe, a, 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 I think Michael Moore, but less giant and knows you have his way a around the gun. intimidate check than me. Yeah, yeah I'm a very intimidating wow. person. Mm -hmm. But I'm much more modest yeah. about it. Also, See, cheek pouches. Uh, also, I can store things in my cheek pouches. That's the <laughs> That's right. feature of which uh, I'm the proudest. So, yeah. I mean, truly intimidating people don't need to bark all the time. They, they just they bring it out when they, they need to. They put stuff in their mouth. They put it like slowly fill their mouths with grain until the other guy backs them. <laughs> right. It's a very That's, weird thing to do. You won fight? every uh, Chubby it. Bunny game you ever <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. played. Yeah. <laughs> that would intimidate me. It's unsettling. Just, I'm trying just to like, rain. yeah. Have Beck and Sebastian met? We've encountered, I think, once during a holodeck game. That's right, yeah, with, the holodeck. With well, mm -hmm. right. yeah. yeah, that's absolutely or, or, or whatever, you know, the region-appropriate yeah. term for yeah, a holodeck Because I, I remember you were in that, that yeah. episode, but I was like, but I feel like there was something about it that like made it different. It was the holodeck thing. There you go. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It all was part of it was all in the imagination. <laughs> it's all the dreamscape. Sorry, yeah, so that's me. Hi. Yes. Hello. Hi. Well, thank Hi. you for joining us thank tonight. Thank you for having me again. And welcome back. Uh, uh, always a pleasure. Second episode, yes. It's good to have you here. Um, so the uh, last week, our crew had uh, gotten to some uh, fairly, fairly mad capers. Uh, shenanigans were had, and um, uh, the fun... It was a fun time, uh, and... I can show that to you in a brief clip, so Dom, if you would be so kind, if you would play the recap from last week. Previously on Deep Water Deep. Deep. Oh, this is the right thing to do. Oh God! He's got a gun! Pour it in her it's mouth! It's got the stuff in it. Uh, what? Don't worry. No, pour it in her mouth! <laughs> what happened? You've got powers now. Who are you? 
Do you know who you are? We are the chosen ones from the prophecy. And we have <laughs> granted you this gift. Just lean into that. Thank you. Great. What? New gods. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs>
ask for more information about what exactly happened to the base. Uh, he's not gonna. Uh, uh, hey, uh, well, sorry. Huh? Yes. Uh, <laughs> You'll the, send us some info about this. Uh, the, the general. Um, oh well, yes, you've got the coordinates, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah I, I'll provide. I'll provide. I'll have my men provide you the coordinates. So. And that's and just coordinates. Like we didn't. You don't know what happened. Well, we lost communication with him. It, it was. How long ago did you lose communication? It's been about two days. Two days. Two days. How? When? When did you first notice you lost com- communication? Two days ago, I'm guessing, or. Was it sudden? It was brought to my contact? attention this morning, um, uh, but apparently the person who had been monitoring the base hadn't. They hadn't checked in. Uh, they'd missed their check-in date, and so that. Why? Was, uh, uh, we've lost communications with them. No, no, no. Why did they miss their check-in date? The person. So the person checked in, right? The base Am I checked in. Got it. Understood. With the officer running. Got it. The communications. There's mm-hmm. a lot of forces spread out on mm-hmm. the planet, and so. What I was told was that it would it had fallen through the cracks. Got it. So, uh, thank you for your time. Mm-hmm. We need to go. No problem. <laughs> Is that enough of an answer for you? <clears throat> yeah, that's plenty. <laughs> All right. He uh, turns on his heel. The men gather mm-hmm. around him and they load into their jeep. Jeep powers up and drives away. Uh, I don't I think know. it was going to be any more forthcoming. Sorry. I know where we're going. I've been to this base before, and I know what's there. What is there? <clears throat> I'll tell you when we're out of this place. Let's get out of the green zone first. Okay. All right, so you guys um, are escorted out uh, to the uh, exterior of the green zone, and you realize uh, that you are a short one person. There's something going on. I mean, you, you kind of realized it's uh, 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 late last night, uh, but, you know, he uh, you think this person needs a little bit of time just to kind of get their wits about them. So uh, we will cut over to <laughs> Nobabebek, <laughs> um, who has spent uh, some amount of time with Cheese Bodo. Nobabebek, what happened last night, man? Where'd you go? Uh, so <laughs> Nobabebek uh, just accidentally ended up with Cheese Bodo, kind of <laughs> going back to town. Uh but I think after having his faith shaken and his own fighting abilities a little bit, this like waking up in a new place was kind of like, oh, this is this is an opportunity. Um, <laughs> and I, I think he's just been like bonding with Cheese Bodo, perhaps finding a kinship he never expected <laughs> <laughs> with this simple man with simple needs and <laughs> beautiful taste in flarn music. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. For those for those who don't know, Cheese Bodo is a drow elf. Uh, who has been sort of their de facto driver, uh, and he is a big fan of music that we have termed flarm music. Mm-hmm. And uh, he likes fixing cars, and he just lives the simple life. He's real on the hook for Mira. Mm-hmm. And yes, he's, he's is... driving us around pretty much exclusively <laughs> because he wants to. Yes, he, keep he, close to Mira. There's he an affection has a there. Will's phone number, not Mira's phone number. He thinks it's your phone number. Yep. Yes, <laughs> right. he's been texting Will. Uh, mm-hmm. He's been getting catfished hard by Will. Yeah, I'm catfishing <laughs> the crap out of this dude. <laughs> Oh, jeez, Boto. I feel that though we have known each other for a short amount of time, the bond we have grown is deep. You want very few things in life. To mate, to find companionship. I wish to die in ritual combat. And yet when I am faced with ritual combat, I do not die. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm not interested in ritual combat. I just want to fix up my machine and party and, and drink. I mean, may, maybe maybe you could try those things, and I, and I could try a ritual combat. <laughs> By taking the world and flipping it into another perspective. <laughs> Truly your wisdom knows no bounds. Well, thank you. I, I, I try. I mean, I, I feel sometimes I'll be a, a, a simple elf, but, um, you know, I like to think. <laughs> I have never considered whether thinking is something that is worthy being liked. <laughs> Cheese Bodo. Yeah? I wish to partake of a blood bond with you. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I, I don't have to fight you, do I? No. Okay, good. It involves a lot of drinking, though. Oh, boy, I know a perfect place for that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll talk. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, boy, you're going to love this place. I even seen a vest in there once. 
Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I hope they're either accepting of vests or violently against them. <laughs> Oh, you'll love it. You'll love it. It's great. So yeah, he takes you. Uh, he takes you out across the town, um, and and uh, 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 you guys, uh, you're 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 bar hopping uh, mm-hmm. essentially. Uh, and uh, Cheese Bodo, uh, he's likable, but uh, he's he's fairly uninteresting. But you draw a crowd, um, and you drink a lot because you're a <laughs> oh, yeah. muscular guy, and I'm um, good at it. <laughs> <laughs> you're good at drinking. <laughs> fermented lizard blood. Me and the uh, captain have been practicing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, so, so you're a hit. You're a hit, and mm-hmm. Cheese Bodo loves it. And 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 the night drags on, uh, uh, and and things, you know, go crazy. They go sideways. It's a, uh, it is a uh, fear and loathing in Las Vegas. I imagine, sort of. Play more, flan. Oh, baby. This is backcountry. Cuckoo. Just kidding. <laughs> man, oh man, I can't see my toe. Oh, there they are. They're there. <laughs> <laughs> You're so right. They are. Even when you cannot see them. <laughs> as yep. many things are. <laughs> yeah. There's so much you can't see. That's kind of stuff I like to think. Oh, God. Wait. What happened to the captain? Huh? And the rest of... Oh, my God. They're probably all dead. (laughs) I swear, if they all died without me, I am never going to forgive them. (laughs) Well, we we could get a hold of them. I got got Mary's number here. I've been texting her. (laughs) Ah. I see. She's you. been texting back, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's very interested in what we're doing. Ah, so you two are of romantic interest of some sort. Well, she <laughs> she sure is awful pretty. Hmm. Well, I will take this as a fact. <laughs> <laughs> and no matter what facts come to state that that is not the case, I will ignore them. Sounds good. <laughs> I'm going to text a picture of me right now. <laughs> Wait, me too! Oh, all right! Cheers! Oh, yes. <laughs> all right. And so is this is this early in the morning then? Or, like, have you guys been out all night? Or I think okay. so, probably. So this is, this is like, this is like 9 a.m. You guys have just cleared out. Yeah. Uh, from <laughs> it's nine in the morning. Uh, so like yeah, we're, we're having at the at back at home in the canyon, and I get this text of this picture. Like, it, <laughs> well, no, this is I think oh, after this is after the interview with the general. Oh, okay, uh, okay. Uh, this is like, that's how long this party has gone on. What a party! Whoa, yeah. whoa! One of the things that makes fermented mega snake venom such a popular drink <laughs> is that it also has like a heavily like a uh, stimulant quality to it. Mm-hmm. Like besides being alcoholic, it also like you can go all goddamn night. Yeah, it's like eight loco. Uh, 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 yeah, it's <laughs> it's like eight loco. Oh boy, forty seven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whew, that's a lot of loco. <laughs> Too many. Maybe. So I'm yeah, saying. you get to, you uh, uh, Jesse. You get the text message to Mira um, um, from Cheese Bodo and. Um, uh, and, and, and Vesk uh, and Beck. Uh, <laughs> the picture of the two of them, mm-hmm. and they say, yeah, "Where, where, where are you at? We're coming to you. The party don't stop." Guys, we really need a car. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. All right, ah, text back. Uh, hey, need another r- ride? How drunk are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. good. My autopilot's not drunk. <laughs> right on. Sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> Please pick me up here. All right. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Ooh, three kisses. Mm-hmm. Ah, yes. If there was anything that would confirm that a true relationship is in place here, it is the three kisses. <laughs> I was wondering how you go about kissing the Kathasta. There's no way to know. <laughs> mm. I mean, uh, knows what's know. under the mask. Sound like I'm going to find out. <laughs> He's so hopeful. He's so hopeful. I know this is, this is really like established a person. He's yeah. this humanized cheese bone in a oh, way no, that I am. I'm going to wreck you, this poor man. Yeah. <laughs> you, we had you for some hot break. You put the no back in Cyrano de Bergerac. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Cyrano. Yeah. Uh, so yes, uh, cheese, uh, cheese Bodo uh, 
the Chiefs Bodo Mobile uh, comes gliding uh, to a stop in front of where you guys are. I assume are getting breakfast um, uh, somewhere. Yeah, sure. Yeah. No, Mira's been up since the crack of dawn. Wow. So she's very hungry then. She is very yeah. hungry. Yeah. So I feel like she would also eat <clears throat> earlier. So I don't know. But but if other people are eating, she would eat with the teams. It's was a brunch, it not? Perhaps. Was it not the same morning that we were in the canyon that we came to do the interview? Yes. It's true. Yeah. So we, so have we haven't eaten breakfast. since before. we are. Wait, um, but what about it's very second? important whether or not we have had <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> uh, but we need to establish. Yes, I'm going to so, 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 I don't think so they know. Like the breakfast. interview happened at like 8 a.m. and now mm-hmm. it is 9 a.m. Right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, sure. so it's like an early ass interview. That's great. Okay, so it's 9 a.m. Getting things um, done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just, I love it. Best. Um, yeah, let's eat. I could eat. <laughs> well, all right. Oh, good. All right. Sounds good to me. <laughs> so they roll up on us having like steak and eggs. Yep. I know a very nice place. Oh, good. Yeah. And by nice, I mean extremely greasy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Perfect for this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> as long as it's a good place to talk. All right. Yeah. So fine. yeah, Cheese Boto, Cheese Boto is gonna drop you off, and he's going to. He's going. He actually fell asleep on the way over, um, and so he is going to continue to sleep in the car um, <laughs> while you are free to do what you wish. So you go inside and you see the the. Gr- Vic also the, slept most of the car ride. Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. So they're both like, oh. <laughs> just that fifteen minute nap. Oh, um, he looks really sweet when he's sleeping. <laughs> Back like an yeah. adorable. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's he's like an dream. adorable, violent purse. Yeah, just just <laughs> never gives up. No. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, guess I'll be father. <laughs> oh, so so you're you're uh, you're you're gonna uh, uh, you're getting in the car now? Yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll go ahead and hop in. Yeah, yeah. And oh, just... we're not stealing the car. I mean, no, no, no. he's still in the car. Can yeah. you really steal it unless it's kidnapping? Too? I mean, yeah. I mean, how big Hijacking is he? Hijacking it. Can I just? Okay, we'll 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 keep him in the car. Yeah, yeah he's. I'm just gonna scoot him over. I just want you to know that, like, for a solid ten seconds, Mira considered just like picking him up, putting him out, and stealing the car. Our car now. But our car now. Yeah. But no. I mean, that, that's She's grown that... as a person. Episode oh, seven. <laughs> Season two. <laughs> Mira doesn't steal cars. <laughs> Captain Mira. <clears throat> yes. And uh. Hello again. Oh, I think I met you in a video game or something. <laughs> yeah, it was very unclear if it was real or not, but I, I, I do have the same recollection. Yes, uh, Beck, right? Uh, no bother, Beck. Oh, right, 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 right. But for short, do you have a shorter name? When you've earned it. <laughs> that is fair. <laughs> and my name is Sebastian Ngutu Chirrup. All right, Sebastian and Gutu and Chirrup. Uh, sorry, Captain, I got separated from all of you. That was bad. How's your night? It was great. It was very good, Captain. <laughs> well, I guess I'll let it slide then. Cheese Bodo is a hell of a guy. You've made a great choice, Mira. <laughs> you made a great choice, Mira. And <laughs> she's confused. Because <laughs> I don't think she knows you've been texting her. Yeah. Maybe not. No, I don't you think she knows. You know that I've taken a co- Well, I don't even know if you know if I've taken No, it. it's just been like weird, like, what? What? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, weird Take a picture. picture. Uh, <laughs> catfish, catfish. <laughs> he is a good driver. Yes, I guess. Yes. I, uh, he can drive when asleep. Yeah, they Something were... <laughs> I find quite impressive. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they were about to sleep. I'm driving? You driving? I'm driving. Oh, okay, yeah. got it. <laughs> All right. Okay, next time we're rock, paper, scissoring. Rock, paper, that. scissors for driving? Yeah. So where are you guys heading off to? Uh, we're going to head to this place. It's called the uh, Cheese Nugget. The Cheese the, Nugget? The Cheese the Nugget. Cheese All right. Nugget. You can't pronounce the Cheese Nugget. It's the Cheese Nugget. The cheese okay. Nugget. That's down. It sounds like this a very is, classy in, this place. This is in Deepwater uh, City, yes? Yes, okay, Deepwater cool. City. All right. Off to the Cheese Nugget. And the Cheese All Nugget right. is a good place to have confidential conversations. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> what is All the right. Cheese Nugget? The Cheese Nugget is like an old like old school, what I would say was like an American diner, but mm-hmm. it's obviously Deepwater Prime. Mm-hmm. So it's down home cooking on a griddle. You get some coffee. You get some mm-hmm. greasy food. Lots of cheese. Lots of great breakfast foods. Thick stuff you need before you head into the mines for the whole day to go mining. Nice, nice. Yeah, so that's that's where we're headed. All right, cool. So yeah, you guys, you guys, Sweet. bop on over to the cheese nugget. Uh, get yourself a table. Uh, sit down we're and a special um, table in the yeah. back. Oh, okay, yeah. oh my god! Okay. okay, wow. 
get some connections. I mean, okay. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, and uh, uh, food has been ordered, drinks have been ordered. Mm. I will have the deep water, deep fry skillet. <laughs> Always a good choice. I don't know that there's anything on this menu that isn't fried. The coffee is fried. <laughs> I will have a fried coffee. <laughs> One for me too, please, mm. this fried coffee. Fried yes. coffee, some biscuits and gravy. Yeah. And uh, the coffee can have a little, well, some. Some, some special, some yeah, special spices. Just a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. A little, just, you know. Uh huh. You know what to do. The way it gives you a. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Drunk. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys are alone in the back room. Place is relatively quiet. Um, uh, not, not, not too busy, not too empty, but you, uh, you know, you have, you have enough privacy to discuss things. All right, you've stalled enough. <clears throat> what do you know about this space? This space is the, um, the storage facility that houses the BFB that I neglected to launch notoriously. So, uh, if it were to be taken by the enemy, that could be very bad. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> Not to mention... <laughs> oh. Not to mention, oh if we can take it back, we might still be able to use it against the Atlantes. Assuming you remember how to pull a trigger by that point. Wow. <laughs> if I had oh pulled God. the trigger, I would have been doing exactly what the Atlante wanted. It was the right choice. It was the right choice. Stand by it all day. I'm sure that day. helps you sleep at night. All right, so this is <sighs> the thing that you failed to do earlier. Um, yeah. Yeah. But, um, Okay. We probably need to go sooner rather than later, so... Uh, yes, yeah. which is why we came to the cheese nugget instead and decided <laughs> right. to sit down to have food. Uh, I'm very glad that we, we took some time to discuss <laughs> whether or not we would be having breakfast and then yes, came here to have the me breakfast. Me too, me too. I feel like this was time well spent. <laughs> we still need a plan. Got it. I, so. <clears throat> I hate to interrupt since I have clearly missed a great deal, <clears throat> but... Why is it that we are not bringing in the wonderful cheese bodo into this plan <laughs> while we have brought her... Uh, this... You can say it. Uh, rat that I do not know. <laughs> oh, no, that, no. Wow. Oh, no, wow. you, you may mean not. That. You, you may not, we may use that word. You may not use that word. Remember how we, we started calling, we have to call Quill Day? <laughs> this is a very similar type of situation. <laughs> oh, all right. So you Soki. Right, sure. Right. I can, I mean, yeah, anyway, I trust this man with my life. You do? Yes. Sebastian, well, you Sebastian's should. our people. Very well. Then if you have the captain's trust, you have mine as well. I appreciate it. Hopefully some respect will follow in time. Oh, well, we'll see. Maybe you'll learn his whole name, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's <laughs> there, get into business. There's so. more? Let's talk about the super new. <laughs> okay. is, is, so is Twill at the table right yeah, now? Yeah, Twill is at the table. He's ordered a uh, sort of a corned beef, a very beef, greasy beef uh, dish. And he is he is picking at it. Light on uh-huh. the corn, heavy on the beef. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Androids yeah. eat. <laughs> Do androids dream electric beef? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Yeah. Um, okay, great. I just wanted to know if he was all at the table. Yes, he, yes, he, he, he is there. He's, he is, he's gone quiet, mm. uh, which is uncharacteristic of him. Yes. But um, mm. uh, my, my twill impression is far worse than my Beck impression. Love it. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> A lot of people have been acting very out of character <laughs> recently. Uh, Last week, Nova, Nova Beck was not acting. It was very no. strange. Yeah, it was, it was odd. Yeah. yeah, he was he was deranged. All and right. this morning, this guy. Fine. Yeah. Uh, so, first of all, I guess I have exclusive knowledge of this place, right? Uh, so, or, you or do, yes. Kind of knowledge. You, yeah, the, you, when he gives you the coordinates, you're like, oh, yeah, this was where I was stationed um, when the ships arrived. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, you know you know where it is. It's It's up in the... Sort of the Arctic region of the uh, of the. Ooh, exciting snow mission! <laughs> yes, I love the snow. Uh, yeah, there there is snow up there for a, a good portion of the year, or is there at least yeah, uh, ice uh, mm. and whatnot for a good portion of the year, and, and and this is that portion of the year, so it'll probably be very cold up there. Okay, uh, do I know about the housing unit for the bomb? 
like how it was, where it's kept, and how. Well, this is there. There are sort of silos located all over uh, the planet. Uh, there is there is a silo very close to uh, to the headquarters as well, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, this is this is sort of the central control control station. This, this took a lot of time for you guys uh, to figure out how to get in there and um, where it was, uh, because it's not it's not located in Deepwater City. Right. Um, so yeah, yeah. Um, this was this was a big get for you guys. Did we have like did we have a, like a set of super nukes or were there several missile silos in one super nuke mm-hmm. or was it like what a, what was the nature of our or do I even know? Um, you're not sure exactly the the full range. I mean, it, it, it was like the the location of the silos is not even known necessarily to the people in the headquarters or in the base. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they're they're sort of scattered throughout the planet, and you just know that it is it is massive um, uh, and. There are probably several different, you know, varieties of, of weapons that are sort of stashed throughout deep water. So, okay, yeah. So it's imperative that we hold on to this facility because there's a lot of tools in this particular tool belt. Uh, Beck, I think you're gonna like this one. Hmm. I can't imagine this is gonna be peaceful. So, Mira, you'll like this one too. I can't wait. Everyone's happy. <laughs> Sorry, <Tula>. uh, okay. <laughs> Mm. Eat your food, Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> so I say a round of reconnaissance, see what we're dealing with, yeah. and then figure out how to, how to, uh, how to right. approach it. Um, <clears throat> do, you, do you relay everything? I'm assuming you relayed everything Tyler said to us. Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah, great. Pretty much, pretty much all of that. Um, yeah, I mean, recon's all we can do mm. right now. Sure. Um, Do I know of uh, do I know of the entrances and exits, or yeah. are there any like secret type of backdoor entrances, or I'll tell you special code um, places? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how, how you guys to tackle this. There is a sort of a vehicle bay, mm-hmm. um, and then there is the main entrance. Um, the main entrance, you know, is guarded by armored turrets, um, and the vehicle bay is. It's accessible, um, but uh, you know, each vehicle sort of has a um, what are those what are those little chips called? Oh, like an RFID, essentially, uh, a, a chip where they can get an easy in and out access. So, oh right. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Uh, when you were there, there was just there was just a single sort of long range vehicle and a lot of sort of shorter range vehicles for stuff reconnaissance outside of the base. Okay. So it's mostly local vehicles and, and mm. one that just shuttles in and out. Yeah, one one kind we of. We hijack the one shuttling yeah. in and out. Uh, yeah. If we can, it, I mean, where is it? <laughs> How would we know where to find it? Is uh, it already there? That's mm. the thing about recon. Um, that is the thing about recon. Yeah, that is the thing about <laughs> recon. Is you collect information that you do not have. Yeah. Yes. Um, all right, but we know like where the general area of where this base is, right? Mm-hmm. Because you've been there before. Yeah. So let's start by heading yeah. there. How far away is it from our current location? Uh, pretty far. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be a good like uh, using using land transportation. Uh, you guys are in the southern hemisphere, so it's gonna be a, a, a good like. I don't know, not half a day, probably between about eight hours. We should start at least heading in that direction because it's not like anything can... Now, this this vehicle leaves, pe- leaves the base periodically, and it stands to reason that it has to make a supply pickup. Is there some kind of a large uh, depot uh, equivalent of an intergalactic uh, galactic Costco? Like we're, we're looking for some place where it can refuel, resupply, bring fresh mm-hmm, water mm-hmm. and food a back distribution inside. Distribution center for Exactly, yeah. Yes. Because they're, they're not producing that on site. Well, I'm not sure okay. how it's been used since the stewards took it. How many men do you think they could keep there? They will need to have a heavy supply if they have a force that can hold such an important base. <clears throat> well, it was it, pretty big, right? Like, yeah, the, about 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 ten uh, about ten men comfortably, probably up to twenty um, if people sleep in shifts. Uh, probably from from ten to twenty men, but. They've pretty Soldiers, much I should it. say. Sorry, no, no. that's why it was easily taken over. So whoever has it, we have no idea. Now, probably these lanties. A supply depot is bound to be less rigorously defended than a military yes. base. So my suggestion is, uh, and there can't be too many supply depots around that can sustain a base of such a size. They're not going to be going from grocery store to grocery store to grocery store to get a loaf of bread. So 
My thinking is that is where we can best ambush and uh, and or hijack this vehicle. Ah, I understand. We I take the supply depot. Yes. And then hold them under siege until Egg. they are starved out. More or less, yes. I like where your head's at, but maybe with a little bit more brevity. Yeah, sure. A little more of a subtle hand. Right, right. Who's right. got time for starving? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's many us. weeks. <laughs> that's We're not going to sit through that, that's for sure. Um, well, yes. uh, yeah. I, Might as well start heading in that direction, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, do we know which supply depot? If only no, we no, have no. someone who is still in the stewards. I'm yeah. saying we know the general area of where it is, right? <laughs> Burn, Captain. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, God. I'm sure <laughs> Uh, very uh, subtle but effective. Did I just crit on my plasma weapon? <laughs> <laughs> because burn! Uh, <laughs> yes, delightful. Uh, I would rather not call the steward. <laughs> <laughs> I would uh, rather not. I am. Um, I. Should. I think. So, so we. You had an idea to figure out where it was, or I, I mean, my my the, general thing is just start heading in that direction, and then like ask uh, more people once we get closer. There can't to the be uh, too many facilities of that size okay. again to sustain such a. We're looking for Costco. Right. Yeah, yeah uh, not to mention they yeah. probably hired locals or something to do things like waste removal and, and other things that were right. not agreed soldierly. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, I can do what I got to do on the way anyway. So. Mm-hmm. Oh. So. At least we don't need a. Call the stewards. <laughs> That's Let's true. go. <laughs> uh, little <Okay>. do they know. <laughs> I'm calling them anyway. Ah! 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 Yay. Stewards. <laughs> so uh, so you were going to take cheese bodos. Uh, you have the option of cheese bodos hot rod, which <sighs> could probably make it uh, in in about eight hours. Or you have Sebastian's rent a car, mm-hmm. um, which probably more take like about half a day i mean and it's a rental yeah. car so it's really not meant for trans uh it's time to really planetary. see how deep this catfish hook is gone i think <laughs> <laughs> well, she's boto she's boto was in a deep sleep a we have deep, oh, deep, stimulants deep do we not can i <laughs> you can you can, can certainly get this car also if if you if you look closely on cheese boto um he has a big bandage around the upper arm of his, uh, oh my god, like, uh, tattoo? Uh-huh. and it's like, oh well, we okay, we did a blood bonding ritual. Oh, okay. <laughs> we were all maybe a little too drunk first. <laughs> we got a little enthusiastic. He has lost a severe amount of blood. I think he will be okay, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does look a little pale. Yeah. What exactly does the bub- blood bonding ritual Have we entail? Ever done the blood bonding ritual? Probably, no. We tried that one time. Oh yeah, we were really drunk too. <laughs> oh man. Uh, and more importantly, are you now legally entitled to some of his property? Like yeah, maybe like his, this his vehicle. vehicle. I mean, I don't think there's a, a legal backing to it, but <laughs> we could steal it. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to steal the vehicle. I am comfortable with this. <laughs> You're going to steal Cheese yes. Motors' vehicle? Yes. We'll give it back. Are you going to... We are going to creatively borrow... Are you going to bring Cheese Bodo with you, or are you going to ditch Cheese Bodo? If there's room in the trunk. We're going to leave Cheese Bodo back. Seems kind of dangerous. To bring it with? I don't want the guy to die. Leave (laughs) Cheese (laughs) Bodo. You saying leave him or All leave in him? favor of No, that was that was incredulous Bodo. sadness. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All in favor of leaving Cheese Bodo behind? Wait. Oh, it's a spoiler. I created oh, wow. I abstain from the vote. I'm sorry, Captain. I I am, of course, at your beck and call. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just heard that. <laughs> Can we uh how long do you have that suite? Yeah. Uh, I mean, in, uh, at least another couple of weeks. We put him up? <sighs> <laughs> he's not gonna... He's not gonna bleed everywhere, is he? No, no, probably not. I mean, I really want to get my deposit back. Yeah, the studio's kind of putting me up here, so... <laughs> Alright, fine. Are you gonna show me he will not uh, uh, bleed and or defecate anywhere? He's housebroken, right? I assume so. <laughs> Alright then, fine. You can sleep on the couch. All okay. Right. Uh, are moment. you going to leave him uh, a message of some kind? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to write. I'm going to write him a little message. I'm going to leave him actually one of the bottles from the mini bar next to the next to the thing with, okay. a, with a note. Right. Well, you're paying for that. Oh, I've, I've got okay. it. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm good for it. 
Smash. Sure. <laughs> sure. All right. Uh, and it just says, enjoy Mira XXXX. Enjoy Mira. Also back. You can write also back. I am here as well. Oh, wait, he knows his friends did this. Aw. So. His friends stole his car. That's, that's nice. much better. Yeah. yeah. But also, we should lock him in, probably. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, no, the, the key card's very advanced. Like even no, even the housekeeping can't get in if you just use one of these signs. It says, "Do not disturb." <laughs> Let's put that in there. Do you think it's basically to... an impenetrable shield? You think he'll wreck the place though? If he... What's he likely to? Do? I don't really know him. I don't know well, this man. I think we have more pressing matters. We do actually a giant nuke. <laughs> All right, that's, <laughs> that's fair. A giant death nuke. Like that. Let's, let's do that. I do not know him either. I have only merely. Brush the surface of the depths that are Cheese Boto. Let's just, uh. You guys really got to know each other, didn't you? He was a good guy. Right. I'm driving. Let's leave the door open. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> I, I hate, hate to see him hurt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right, yeah, so you you ditched Cheese Boto in a, um, a, a nice, one of the nicer hotels. Uh, it's a, I think, Marriott, mm-hmm. uh, a Marriott suite. Um, it's going to do great. Yeah, and you take his, the cheese bottle hot rod, uh, mm-hmm. you refuel it uh, toward the edge of the city so you can get there in one in one go. And you start heading north and east uh, from Deepwater Prime. Cool. Um, so, yeah, it, it, this is this is a, a nice eight-hour trip, um, and so, you know, you guys, <laughs> you guys have some time to, to rest or, you know, do whatever. Um, so we'll get there at, like, yeah. 8 p.m. Yes. Well, yeah. The, well, I'm not sure how the time the zones are going to work. Um, you're leaving. So this is you're leaving at like, like what, ten o'clock or something like They're that. Right. We're, We're going to assume that that uh, Deepwater Prime has a similar date mm. or, uh, mm. cycle to Earth. Um, uh, so yeah, let, let's say uh, you you get sort of in. You're about an hour out, and um, it's it's still light out. Okay. Um, uh, so you're about. Uh, an hour outside of uh, outside of where the headquarters are located, or, or where the control control. Um, well, thing I is actually located. don't even know this. What is like the system of GPSs on deep water? Uh, how do you mean? Like, like, does every car come with like a GPS? Like, in, oh, in, right, in, yeah. in the way that you can like like input like. GPS, please find me like a nearby gas station or a nearby Google convenience Maps. store. Secret uh, military yeah. base. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm looking for Costco, but still. yeah. Uh, um, so yeah, like, well, what is like? So does, wait, does that where should exist on this, this world? Uh, as far as th- there are a lot of sort of small scrap wave colonies no. that are just kind of off the map. Got it. And, Makes and, sense. and really like. Uh, uh, you know, it's just like it, inhabited by maybe like a dozen people. Yeah. Uh, they don't of, have the satellite system in place necessary. Yep. For, yeah. Right. Super great. Right. Great. right. Yeah. You you get that with kind of the larger scrap wave colonies, and with you know with the mm-hmm. cities and towns, of course. You know, Red, Red Rock Canyon and Deepwater Prime are two of the biggest cities yeah. on the planet. Uh, the, the this particular part of uh, Deepwater Prime is very 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 lightly inhabited. Um, what what like if you had to compare it to another state or another country right now like what like what would it look like just like at a visual do you mean like like visually what yeah it like, like like does it look like Colorado does it look like Wyoming does uh, it look like New York I'm thinking Utah sort okay. of the oh, yeah. sort of the Beautiful. arches uh, yeah. Or wait, what is it? What is your hometown name? The, the, Vernal. Uh, Vernal. Yes. Vernal. Yes. The, the, the Vernal. Uh, the Ooh. Vernal area, uh, mm-hmm. which we yeah we vis- we visited uh, recently. Dinosaur uh, bones. My wife and I. Uh, yeah. Did a dinosaur trip there. So yeah, that, that that's kind of what it what it's like. You know, the bright the Bryce Canyon and Arches cool. National Park. And, yeah. You know, kind of stuff like that. That's exciting. Do, so. It's a beautiful beautiful planet. It's Ooh. so pretty. Go to Utah if you Utah guys haven't been. Twitch chat. Chance. You know. Um, Take yeah, in the it's sights. Really pretty. Uh, I mean, I would like but, to... But it's also, it's also very cold. The, the closer you're getting up to the, the Arctic Circle of, uh, of Deepwater Prime, it is, it is, you're seeing Ready. snow mixed with sand. Oh, and, and, yeah. I love it. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we should stop at one of these colonies. Uh, sure. We can stop at the next one. Yeah? Yep. You said that. I, wanted, very... I need to stop anyway. For what? Gotta hit the old uh, you know, boys' room. All right. <laughs> Hold it this long. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Well, this, the, the, there's one on the ship, you know, right? Wait, in the car? No, no. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. This is pretty tight. Yeah. That's very advanced. Oh, wait, this would be point, a hell of a road point. trip, actually. Like, yeah. we were, I thought we were, <laughs> we were in an RV team. for some reason, but no, oh, okay. let's, let's, cheese bonus, like an RV guy in my head. So, 
<laughs> yeah. Just so we know. Yes. When we go to this town, what sort of profile are we keeping on a scale of low to xylitol? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> fairly fair. low. Fairly low. Okay. <laughs> uh, no grenades, first uh, of all. All right. All right. Just friendly. We're locals. We're uh, just we're, friendly. We're, we're miners. We're prospecting for new areas. All right. Miners all right. prospecting for new areas. All right. Oh. What are we mining? Oh, just new areas. <laughs> no, no, no. New areas. Right. 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 Okay. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> so yes, you you are in luck. There is. There is a, um, a a town about uh, um, about two hours away from the coordinates of the base. Okay. Um, you've never been before. Um, uh, it is called uh, New Ticlia. New Ticlia. New Ticlia. New Ticlia. New Ticlia. As in Ticlia. Like a nudical? Strange name. Cool stuff. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you recognize at least the. You've heard of Ticlia before. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a skittermander colony. Hmm. Uh, because the, the, the Vesk and the Skittermanders are sort of, uh, uh, they are, a, I, I don't know what, exactly what the relationship is, but uh, do, do, have you read about the Skittermanders at all? Uh, a little bit. Okay. So yeah. The, but I don't know much cute. besides like kind of what they look like. The Vesk, uh, from, from what I've read, and chat correct me if I'm wrong, uh, the, the Vesk invaded and conquered the Skittermanders. <gasps> Sounds right. Um, and the Skittermanders <laughs> uh, just sort of didn't really notice. Um, and just kind of went on about their lives, and uh, you know the best sort of tried to dominate them and rule them. And like, yeah, yeah, yeah okay, yeah. They're like, sure, yeah, 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 yeah it's okay. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. Uh, so they're, they're, we're in charge now. <laughs> Sweet, yeah. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Story, right. bro. It's your problem now. <laughs> so, so, uh, so yes. I'm gonna uh, keep scaring. <laughs> <laughs> they just, they just kind of uh, continued to go about their business, uh, and and the best. Uh, eventually, just got frustrated and just let them let them do, and and they would help out. They were very nice. They were very generous. They would help out uh, when it, when and where they could. But they they were just really unconcerned uh, about. Uh, they're they're a very a very chaotic group of uh, of aliens. And so, um, uh, Ticlia, you have heard of because that is a Skittermander colony on a uh, on a Vesk planet that you're familiar with. It's one of the larger ones. And so, New Ticlia. Um, is evocative of the the Skittermanders. So, mm. Mm. something to think about. Uh, Do you tell us any of this? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, you're familiar with these nudicles, then? <clears throat> oh yes. Well, I, I know Tinklia at least. Ah. The Skittermanders are confusing people. <laughs> Very difficult to get to fight you. <laughs> <laughs> we tried hard. <laughs> And and so you guys approach uh, uh, the. It, it's it's a very outdated uh, a GPS, and, and and the signal's not great uh, out here as far as the the galactic net. Uh, oh shit! I, I would ask uh, Dan what the name of it is, the but the, the infosphere is that what it is? Yeah, Same well, as Yeah, that actually sounds about right. Um, so there's like there's like a uh, there's a sort of a postal code associated with this colony. They, they've gone so far as to get it registered um, with the planet, and this is a new this is a relatively new registration. Um, although a lot of these, you know, a lot of these yeah, have been really around for a long time, uh, and and some of them choose not five. to register with the government because there's a distrust of the government. Mm. Um, so this one was 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 fairly newly registered. Okay. Um, and you guys glide uh, into New Ticlia, uh, and uh, you are picked up on <laughs> radar as, as you guys come in, mm -hmm. um, and uh, over your comms, uh, you hear uh, the the. <laughs> Call sign for for your vehicle, um, whatever that call sign is. Let's just say B O T O three four one one. The B O T O three four one one. Please identify yourself. Uh, yeah, this is the Bodomobile, just coming in for uh, some light sundries and maybe some fuel. Understood, Bodomobile. And what is your purpose in visiting New Ticlia? Oh, prospecting. Prospecting, and you uh, have the near the... areas, not here, a little ways away, but we just need to resupply. You will be asked to present the documentation for your prospecting journey upon your arrival. We <laughs> documentation? Yes, there is documentation with the government. Oh, really? Are you not familiar with this? I mean, we kind of like to fly a little under the radar, if you know what I mean. I will have to check with my supervisor on this. But we can discuss this when you arrive. All right, sounds good. New Ticlia out. 
Uh, Motomobile out. The <laughs> wine's <laughs> <laughs> already dead. <laughs> cool. I'm glad uh, you didn't hear that. Motomobile. <laughs> 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 so the motomobile coasts into New Tiglia. Yeah, there is. Uh, there's yeah. a single um, sort of. Uh, as, as you're, you're coasting, just the, the size of the city, uh, it's probably about you know a square mile. You see the the wreck of what was pretty obviously a uh, a skittermander ship um, that has crashed on the planet. I, I like oh. think of that scene in Mulan where it's like all this snow, and they oh, like walk no. up to like the charred remains, and then one of us like picks oh. up a small doll. What um, do we want? The girl worth fighting. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that, that bit, yeah, that's yeah. that's the bit. That's the bit. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's, it's the snow and the burn. That's that's the that's yeah. the image that I see. That's really sad. Yeah. No, but it, it, it it's fully intact. Uh, oh, okay. Right. So, yeah. so it's still there. Right. Okay. Yeah. Not, yeah. Not yeah. sad. So they just crashed sad. and decided to Don't stay. Be sad, y'all. No. See, okay. yeah, because this is um. So it, it was a uh, it, it was a skittermander ship, and and that's what happens with a lot of ships that okay. are out here. Hmm. Um, they are far from any like good repair facilities, um. and so. They end up sort of crashing onto the planet, mm. um, and little towns sprout up around the crashed vehicle. If it's a, if it's a large enough um, spaceship, uh, it, it, it can support a small town with the you know the, the really spaceship. Oh, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. So I feel yeah. like this is a bad neighborhood. They'll have you up on bricks. Like the second you walk, I completely misunderstood. <laughs> no, yeah, okay, yeah that's, no, this that's is cool. yeah, this is you guys are very familiar with this sort of this is this is the deep water uh, uh, brand of of town. Like mm. anytime a large capital ship crashes on deep water, uh, people move in and set up a little scrap wave colony. Yeah, that's me. Look, you're not wrong. All yeah. planets like kind of a bad neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with our bad neighborhood. <laughs> yep. And so, yeah, <laughs> you the see... the whole planet a yeah. bad neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> this, was, this was a fairly large uh, a Skittermander ship. It uh, uh, looks to be relatively old. Uh, the, the buildings uh, appear to have been around here at least a lot older than their registration would indicate. Okay. Um, uh, so they like to fly under the radar too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, you're seeing uh, you see you know sort of a, sort of a comm tower uh, where where they're able to communicate uh, uh, locally, and you see uh, as you are coming in, you see a single sort of shop uh, uh, set up on the outside of town to accommodate uh, visitors and whatnot. So. Okay. Captain, yeah. I will engage in deception. <laughs> Captain, I sure do hope that this supply run is quick so we can get back to the mining I so passionately enjoy. <laughs> Me too. I love mining too, big buddy. And you know what? Nothing's going to keep us from that mine. I sure hope not. <laughs> Wait, is it? <laughs> if anything tried, I would destroy it <laughs> with my miner's skills. I like to mine. Beautiful. I, this is this is your conversation you guys yeah. are having outside of your vehicle. <laughs> yeah. 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 Do you like as we walk towards <laughs> I love mining. I sure do love dirt. I yep. love and getting mm. through it to find whatever it is that we mine. I don't know what I would do with my life if I could not don't, mine. Don't the whole care. world is like a big mystery, and then you open it up, and there are cool things underneath. Yeah. After my whole family died in that last mining accident, I'm feeling like our luck's finally going to turn around. That's that is true, and pathos. Why everyone around should be sympathetic towards you and your plight, <laughs> oh, and not ask us uncomfortable questions <laughs> like what might have happened to your family. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Why so, I would just leave you alone. <laughs> so uh, yes, I I, I I neglected to bring the cheese boat automobile. Um, cause I didn't know you guys were going to steal it. Honestly, <laughs> so um, <laughs> so oh, yeah. let's just. Really? Pretend. Mug yeah, I mean, yeah I exactly. You know, that, it's uh, clean. It's um, clean. Do, we, do we have like a car? We have so many lead figures. There's got to be something, right? Huh? Car? car? Like a car? What about a I monster? Know, a large can monster? Can I interest you in a large monster? <laughs> <laughs> like we might have, need that later. We have, a mech over we have here. so many toys oh, yeah, that's and, cool. and, and, and things around here. There's Pass the wild like turkey. Let's put it on some this kind of... Is it already time? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's always true. Yeah. Well, that that, that can fun. serve for I now. like I like the mech. We never specified that the vehicle was, you know, as it were, quadrupedal. Quadru- <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't remember the yeah. Latin word for wheel. Yeah, it, it could quad- quadrupedal. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably uh, just wheel. That's so yeah, it is. Um, I got a cheese cracker here. Mm-hmm. Also, I got right. a Twix. Oh, for the for the thing. For, I thought for, you were for the just ship. For the ship. Take yeah. Cracker. Well, yeah. Are we'll, we using that as the ship? We'll we'll, yeah. we'll just we'll just have it be be okay. that for now. That's um, fine. Now. And, I'm here to help. Um, <laughs> I mean that it could be like that picture that almost looks like 
A ship? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that one's right on there. I mean, I guess we could sense. just do that. Yeah. Picture. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Yeah. Thank, Thanks, th Dom. thank you, Dom. Uh, I mean, as long as you guys promise not to blow it up because I can't move it. So right. uh, let's put you. Uh, I, somebody could. Uh, I, I got you. I, I got would got like to be able to promise not? that. I got you, buddy. I'm, and my do long you fingers. know us, Tyler? You guys, you guys notice as as during the eight hour car ride that uh, Twill has fallen a little quiet. Yeah. Apparently, Twill's breakfast is not agreeing with him. Oh no! Uh, oh, no. Uh, it's something. No, something in it did not agree with his android, uh, di his weird android digestive tract. He was kind of eating. I don't even know androids eat. I They're mean, this weird is. They, this I don't is think great they do question. eat, which is what was weird about it. Because I know they don't breathe, right? But but he was kind of eating just to sort of fit in. Maybe and for pleasure, like yeah, yeah, and, and something kind of got lodged. In. There oh, no. and and, oh, and and he's just he's no. just uh, he's gonna stay in the car for a little bit and, uh, and kind of power down. That's too bad because I need him to do something for me. <laughs> 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 yeah, but but he's gonna be unavailable, so oh, you're gonna have to no. figure well, something else. Out. Least, maybe oh, I can. Don't, you. don't tell me you staked your whole plan on this, William. <laughs> What? Maybe I can figure something no, else no, no, out. No, no, no. What, <laughs> what Will, did I'm... you want Twilliam for? Uh, I'm. This is all. This is all completely under the radar. This is. This is secret captain stuff. Oh. <laughs> secret <laughs> captain. Mm -hmm. So. I'll well, try it on my own, I guess. It always is reassuring to have a captain who keeps many secrets many from secrets you all the time. Especially when he, you know, <laughs> chooses this out for... I don't keep as many thing. secrets from my crew as my crew keeps from me. Yeah. <laughs> to be. I believe that, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so you guys, are, you guys are parked near a... Uh, it's kind of, they have a little refueling uh, cell, uh, and then there is a garage-type area. Mm -hmm. uh, it says garage, so you know that's what it is. Great. And yeah. this is the... Uh, this is sort of a... A diner looking ish place. Mm. Uh, looks like there's looks nice. there's food and and there is a sign up in the door that says uh, New Ticklia Cafe and Sundries. Um, mm. Oh, a sign. It's, it's yes. A sign so it's, it's a New Ticklia Cafe and Sundries. Help one. Because what are Sundries even? No, we know what Sundries are. Uh, sundries. Yeah. All right, uh, Beck. Why don't you get us some? Uh, sundries? Sundries. sundries. Yeah. <laughs> He's some jerky. <laughs> sundries <laughs> is my favorite food. <laughs> Excellent. Kim. So yeah, Beck, you are um, you were greeted at the door um, as you go up. You were greeted at the door by this small lady. Oh wait, let me change over. You are no longer in there. Oh. Um, so uh, let's do this and... Um, that. Okay, that'll work. Uh, so a, a, a young, well, it's hard to say, a skittermander comes up to you and, uh, says, uh, oh, hello, welcome, welcome, we don't get many visitors out here, you, you're the second one uh, this week, so welcome. Well, it is an honor to be here. Most of the time I spend my time in mines, simply mining, <laughs> but now I am in need of supplies. And your sign says that you have sundries. Yes, yes, they're, they are inside. Um, we're glad to help you. So you're a miner, are you? Yes. Hmm. How interesting. Tell me more. What exactly do you mine? Oh, man, whatever there is to mine, I will mine. <laughs> How far is that conversation happening from us? Uh, you can hear it. It's oh, about okay. this far away, like this distance. Cool. You're about this distance? Okay, oh, okay. So, uh, yeah. that is, Did oh. you hear that? I did. I wonder who their first visitor was Agreed. this week, or possibly last week. I didn't hear that well. I did not either. Uh, <laughs> this week, I out. think. Perhaps they will repeat it later, if we ask them very nicely. <laughs> so I apologize, uh, but our uh, selection is very poor. Um, uh, uh, help yourself. Uh, the prices should be listed on the little red tag. Hmm. So. <laughs> Wonderful. I'll be over here if you need anything, and if you're looking for hot food, I can uh, have my husband whip you something up. Well, I think that we are more in need of things that we'll keep on a long mining expedition underground. Sure, sure, yes, yes. Perhaps jerky of some sort. Uh, I believe we have some local jerky, mm. which you can help yourself to. I'm not so, Beck familiar with the meat, but it is... I've heard it is quite tasty. I guess Beck will just gather up some supplies okay. and stuff. In their gathering supplies, uh, guys out by the car, would you like to do I'm, anything? 
I want to. Uh, we should go. I'd like to. I'd like to find out more about this mysterious visitor. I think that. Do you have any of your cameras on you right now? Uh, I always have seven or eight cameras on me at all times. Damn it! Yeah. No, we have our <laughs> stupid covers. I was gonna say you could easily go around asking questions with that camera, um, mm. and say you're collecting more information for your documentary. But I think we should go talk to some of the citizens. I mean, around looking here. around here, they may not even know what a camera is. Yeah. yeah. Everybody who's Fair outside, yeah. give me a perception check. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, Split out. Oh, it was good and then it wasn't. Ooh, baby. Um, it was good and then it wasn't. It was good and then it wasn't. Mm. 15. 30. 30. Yeah. 30 is pretty good. Uh, 26. 26? Okay, so Captain and Mira, mm -hmm. you see a very peculiar sight um, coming at you from down the. What is marked here as a hiking trail, but it actually, oh, actually, no, the, this is the access road. Um, coming up from the access road. How is it peculiar, Tyler? <laughs> <laughs> well, because, yeah, this, I, I guess this, this leads yeah. off into the wilderness and that leads down into town. Okay. I'm just trying to, uh, trying to figure out the logistics of, yes, of please, I love that. how this, uh, where, where this is situated in comparison to the rest of the city. So uh, coming up from the access road, yes. uh, you see something very peculiar and somebody attempting uh, to sort of, uh, avoid detection. You see a a figure mounted on some type of wolf creature, hmm. um, wearing full um, black armor mm -hmm. um, with 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 uh, plates and spikes and uh, with with my thirty perception check. Can I see how other people are reacting to this person entering? Mm. Um, there's not a lot of people uh, out and about oh, okay, right it. now. So it's so. mostly barren. Uh, is it mostly like looks like this? Yes, this is this this is located a little bit outside of the town. Uh, okay, um, sure. So yeah, if, if you were to go in town, you you might perhaps see more people on the streets. Um, but all right. So um, uh, uh, just in terms of. Okay, so they're all armored up. They're riding this wolf creature. Mm -hmm. um, how tall are they? What, like, can I sense motive on them? With with a 30, you can tell they are about three to four feet tall. You okay. can't sense motive because you're not in a conversation with mm -hmm. them. Okay, that's totally... Uh, no, I mean, like, just with, like, with the perception check, I guess what I meant more by that is, like, is is the creature moving fast? Or they do they seem like they have like a sense of urgency or are they just like I'm riding into town? Yes, they seem um, to be moving fairly quickly. Oh, okay, great. Um heads up. Thanks. You see that? Oh, now that you pointed it out to me, yes, yes. I do. <laughs> and they are moving very purposefully. Yes, exactly. Yep. Uh well, hopefully well, that doesn't have much to do with us. Uh I would well, no, like to ha they haven't seen us yet, it looks like. Um they are moving as if they have. Ooh. Oh, okay. Um, then I would like to Maybe step we'll... forward with like kind of like my arms up um, and just like wait for them to come to me. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try and ascend to a more advantageous position up here yes. on these natural rock formations. Cool. So, yeah, put, take put, cover. put wherever you would like to be uh, uh, when the. The is there any cover person up there that arrives that I should know about? Um, yeah, you can find you can find some cover. Yeah, those, okay. those rocks those rocks will serve. Well, I'll, I'll try and so. come here. Hopefully, within okay. some range of everything. Hopefully, Capitan. Yeah, I'm gonna try to uh, be acting casual, fiddling around with the car like I'm getting something out of it. But I'm mm. gonna keep him keep an eye on him. But I'm not trying to act like I'm doing anything suspicious. Okay, all right. Sounds good. Is this one gonna work? Uh, if this does, if if it starts playing jazz music, then let me know. Um, <laughs> Love it. <laughs> so, um, interesting choice. Yeah. Not sure. Okay, cool. Scribara, I like it. Uh, right. I also shoot a text to Beck. I would say on my comp. <coughs> okay. Um, uh, Beck inside is just continuing his his talking about mining. Mm. He's just like, sometimes I don't even know what I'm mining. I just keep digging and hope something appears. And then when I find something, that's what I'm mining. <laughs> <laughs> Can you real quick give me a bluff check? <laughs> <laughs> just because yeah. you're... I'd love, think I'd love it if you just like marginally overreach. Ah, uh, uh, is that what uh, that looks like? Or is it's that like in What happens if you shake it? Does it move? No, no, I like it. I like it. Just take it. Just take it. Just take <laughs> it. All right. It's, it's a natural 20. Okay, yeah, I'll let you have that. <laughs> I'm taking it. <laughs> I, don't even, I shouldn't even bother rolling here. Okay. Yeah, totally buys it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. That, I, I'm not, honestly, I'm not 
talk to a lot of miners. I hear the mineral fields around here aren't. Wait, I've not talked to a lot of miners. I've heard the mineral fields around here not so, not so good. But I suppose anything's possible. Oh well, if you if you go to the good mineral fields, that's mining on easy mode. <laughs> if you want to mine, if you want to really mine, you need to go where there aren't minerals and find them. <laughs> that's where the challenge is. She's enthralled. <laughs> enthralled. <laughs> This all makes perfect sense. Now, um, outside, um, the the figure kind of, uh, as it is approaching, uh, it, 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 when you saw it, uh, the figure was coming at a very, very healthy clip. Okay. Um, but has since uh, slowed down okay. uh, to kind of a trot. Okay. And uh, that is when you see this. Oh, boy. Sorry. I, sh I, I should point to the camera first. That's so cute. Yeah. Look at him. Um, <gasps> Yeah. Does he look that cute? He does. Aww. He does. Aww. One sec, I apologize. I got caught up in my mining improvisation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what did you, you just like texted me that Yeah, so I texted coming. you that, uh, uh, I texted you uh, that uh, potential danger incoming. All right. Stand by. Uh. Okay, yeah. got it. Mm -hmm. There's like machine guns going on here and everything. Let me turn those all off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right? Not yet. Not yet, my <laughs> friends. Wait for it. Yeah. Um, so, yes. I want you to turn off. All right. Uh, so, yes, this, this figure approaches and s uh, slows to a trot um, as he approaches. And comes to a stop in front of you, Sebastian, since mm -hmm. you're the first one. Mm -hmm. Who is in charge here? Who's asking? State your business and dismount your dog thing. I am Commander Dune Pook of New Ticklia, and I demand to know what your business is here. Is that right? Yes, that is correct. Well, I'll believe it when I see some credentials, uh, Captain Dune Pook, if that is who you say you are. I am the mayor here, and I have, I am under no obligation to provide any credentials. You, however, are trespassing on New Ticklier ground, and I demand to see your passes. If you were provided passes by Deepwater, as you know, this is a restricted area. I start making my way over there. Okay. Uh, you know, and who no is one. this? Is this the man in charge? Uh, this is more our or less. <laughs> what? I'm no one's not. in charge. We are a mining collective. Yes. No one is uh, in charge per se. But I'm pretty much in charge. <laughs> <laughs> well, who has the passes? I was in conversation uh, with our mm -hmm. flight controller, and he informed me that you do not have the appropriate passes. Mm -hmm. This is an unexpected stop for us. We just wanted to gather some extra supplies. Had we uh, come here intentionally, I'm sure we would have filed the correct paperwork. Yeah, we didn't realize this. There was no um, warning at the gate or nothing. It's very These... early stages. We're just kind of scouting yeah. at the moment. We're not really in the process of uh, put, laying down any equipment or uh, staking any claim. We didn't come here by intention or by habitstance. And a need for some jerky. Mm -hmm. More people who have come here Unannounced. Great, this is just what I need. Well, yes, we heard you had a visitor. A visitor, if you could call it that. What happened there? Well, he's currently in our prison, and I think that's all I need to say about that. Mm. What, My, I did not time, yeah. think a place like this would have a prison. <clears throat> and just for now. Well, he was having... unable to provide any. Uh, uh, information to us. He didn't have any credentials on him. I assume that you have at least some kind of credentials <laughs> to be piloting this vehicle over land. Yeah, I'm the sure we do. Yeah. Yes, the Chief's like Motomobile. You're nice familiar with Curious it? name. Oh, oh yeah. good. Uh, so which one, of you, which one of you has your license and can, bribe, can provide me with credentials? Uh, you're looking just for, I mean, do I, do I have mining credentials? <laughs> yeah, <is> <laughs> you don't have mining credentials? You have sort of, uh, you have like an ID badge, I suppose. I, yeah, I, have, I like, I think. Unless I you mean, don't need an ID badge, uh, that's kind of up to you guys. I have Mira's whether... old steward badge. Okay. <laughs> I'm not pulling that out. All right. Um, you could, um, we, uh, could, I think... we could try bribing him. Yeah. I mean, we, <laughs> I'm, we'll, we'll figure this out. He's a small town mayor. Like, uh, there's a mold, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, we won't be here long. Power. We'll, we're actually, we we will be peacefully gone from here if you don't want us here anymore. Our associate is simply in there buying some jerky, but we can be gone from here right now. 
You understand that you are in a restricted area, though. This is posted clearly in every city in the galaxy. It, it is on the uh, the net. What the hell is it called? Infosphere. Infosphere. Mm. This is posted on the Infosphere. It is. It is very clear that you are not to approach, e- even approach New Ticlia unless you have the appropriate passes. Guys, yeah, th- th- this is this is needless. I- I'm just going to return to the vehicle and and get our passes. You just All stay right. here with this All nice right. gentleman, and I-, I will be right back. Sounds good. And I would like to return to the vehicle. Okay. I'm so sorry. I feel like I have egg on my face. Yeah. I I didn't realize that we weren't supposed Space to come egg. here. And I would like to make a show of searching and retrieve from my kit bag uh, just the work visas that I had for my documentary crew. Okay. That's And then yeah. I'm going to come back with them. Mm, okay. Yeah, man. Uh, that, so I guess my you'll excuse me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> here, 117. <laughs> Um, why don't you... You'll, uh, you'll excuse me, these are, these are not, uh, local identifications, I'm sure you're aware of my, uh, excuse me. These are not mining identifications, either. Uh, could you give me a um, diplomacy check? Well, I mean, uh, it's all in Morocco. I don't know if you, uh, if you happen to speak the tongue at all. I do not. No, well, you, you'll, you'll be able to see from this seal that we are part of a foreign mining expedition. We are just here to survey the land. We're not actually... You, you, you'll know as well as anyone that the mineral deposits around here are very, very dry, or so we're told, but we are here in an exploratory, more dowsing expedition in order to see if there is a rich seam of this or that or the other. You know so, how it is with mining. You just dig and dig and dig, and then when you find something, that is what you were mining. <laughs> he, bring, he brings out a scanner, and he scans it. And it does check out. And he says, these are press credentials. Is one of you here with the press? For a Sebastian Chirrup. One of you is Sebastian Chirrup, I assume. Uh, yes, uh, I have many jobs, only one of which. Mine is a personal interest, but my vocation is... Uh, Do you think also media a jobs pay? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly. I mean, so are you here reporting on mining? Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a new documentary that I am working on right now. Well, I'm afraid you're all going to have to come with me. We need to get you downtown, and we need to get you properly credentialed. Unfortunately, your approach here will result in an infraction, which I will assume that you can pay at the city hall, if you would follow me. Uh, I'm sure we have, uh... <laughs> what kind of, uh, what do these infractions normally run? Yeah. Anywhere from 50 to 100 credits. Oh, oh, well, oh. um... What if I just give... Can I just pay it now? Mm. I don't... I We didn't mean to come here, and we kind of... We, we didn't That know would not that. be going through the proper channels. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, say no more. If we need to... <laughs> <channels>. <laughs> he, he, gets, he gets very serious. <laughs> okay, not one of those guys. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Bureaucrats. Be- I, I'm Small town bureaucrats. They're very serious. Beck, Beck is keeping... Beck is still in the store. And he's keeping an eye on everything through the window, but every now and then he mumbles mining to try and keep up with that. <laughs> uh, uh, mining. Well, As uh, miners do. <laughs> looks like your friends might... Mind your own business! <laughs> well, <laughs> Sorry, I got caught up. <laughs> you put that on a coffee mug. <laughs> your friends are having a discussion uh, with Commander Doompook. You do have credentials, do you? I never deal with that sort of thing. Oh. I can, I can certainly understand that. As yes, I say, we don't get many visitors around here, but you're the second one to come with no credentials. So he's gone on a bit of a, um, a bit of a, <clears throat> a bit of a crusade. This um, this mayor of yours. Hmm? What is he like? He's a very, he's a very serious man. Um, very good. Very. Excellent, excellent mayor. One of the best that we've ever had. <laughs> um, but uh, Boy, we keep hearing. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, uh, he has come in and he has brought order and uh, a sense of regimented... Uh, it is very un-Skittermander-like. It has been a bit of an adjustment for some of the older Skittermanders, but... We do what we must. Uh, he is he is a man who plays by the rules and plays hard by the rules. I've never known your people to have domineering personalities. It is quite unusual, and as I say, it has been a bit of an Aeon adjustment. Guard. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, fortunately, it, we, we have 
paved new roads, we have uh, built some public work projects, and it has actually been a, a fairly good boon for New Ticlia. We just got registered with, with Deepwater, and that's another reason. That was one of the initiatives that he was pushing for. And um, it has brought a, a, a decent amount of credits into the town. Uh, he, he uh, Beck texts as uh, she's saying this, like, not corrupt, don't bribe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, well, thank God we didn't do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Uh, so yes, back back outside. Um, um, uh, Commander Dune Pook um, says, "All right, I will ask one of you to come with me. You may all come with me if you wish, but I would like to take you downtown to make sure you are properly credentialed. Mistakes do happen, but mistakes need to be punished." Right. Uh, absolutely. Uh, actually, we have our friend Tolium. Uh, you can. You can. You said you can only take one of us. So great. <laughs> Yes, I can take one of you, or I can take all of you, but I will need to at least take one of you. He's kind of powered down. Uh, uh, I can't even get him to turn on. Is that... <laughs> Have you tried some <laughs> low lightning? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I'll be happy to question. join you and find out more about the correct channels and perhaps what this individual did to uh, arouse such ire from you. Yeah, thank you, Sebastian. Yeah, very well. And uh, we're very sorry about this. I, why is this area restricted, if I might ask? I don't know. It was something that was placed on us by the stewards, but there is a large area in the northern part of the planet that New Ticlia happened to be located in that they have deemed as a no-go zone, and you are in the no-go zone. Mm. Right. It was not my decision, but I am here to enforce the rules. How long ago did they enforce this? This was done five years ago. Huh. Well, Five years sense. ago. <laughs> a little resistance time. Um, yeah. So, uh... No, if you will come with me, we will get you properly credentialed. We will have to be... We will have to communicate this back to the people <laughs> uh, at Deep Water Bussy. Deep, and we will need to run a courier out there, but, again, this is all something that you will have to pay for. Well, I'm sure we're, uh... Well, it shouldn't be a problem at all. Captain, uh, I'll go negotiations. <laughs> Uh, just into like our cup. How go negotiations? Oh, there's not a lot of negotiating going on so far, but we're just gonna see where this takes us. There's, uh, they're holding somebody else in the prison as well, so we're, we're, we'll see who's with him. We'll just pay the fees and we'll get out of here. Do you need me to kill him? Uh, no, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna before I leave. Not this time. Uh, I'm gonna palm you a tracking bug. Okay. Because uh, we might need that at yep. some point. I got some. Great. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, just uh, give me a give me a sleight of hand. Check. Sure. Why not? Just you real have a good quick. Hand, right? No. Uh, I actually do, but it only came out as thirteen. Thirteen. Yep. Okay. Um, uh, he notices something, but it's not illegal, so he doesn't say anything. Great. <clears throat> okay. All right. Uh, so who is coming on. with me? Uh, lead on, so Would anyone like to join us? Would you uh, like to join Sebastian? Just to... No. <laughs> I'm thinking about how I'm going to get the tracking device to you right now, oh. considering he just handed it to me. <laughs> oh, did I yeah. did I notice that? I don't know. No, maybe not. I don't know. Yep. Okay. If I... Uh, if I like, if there's a way no. I can hand you the tracking device, because like, yeah, you, just hand <laughs> just, me, yeah. you could always give I'm, me a hug. No, no yeah. point. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> You're like, uh, I mean, yeah, actually, that's that is what happened. <laughs> well, it was just like, and we'll see you later. <laughs> uh, uh, don't mind that. Yeah. <laughs> best uh, best wishes to you. There you, you go. <laughs> see you soon. Yes. Oh, stay out of trouble. <laughs> They're gonna stay. Also, out of with a very obvious joke, that's fine. Uh, yeah, yeah. A very funny joke. <laughs> so it's just you then. It's just us. Just you two. Yes. All right. Come this way, please. Um, and he trots his his wolf on down the road. Um, it is. It, Are we walking? We, we don't even get a ride. Jog behind, uh, behind the wolf. Yeah, yeah. you walk behind the wolf. Okay. Yeah. yeah what a hard ass. Uh, yeah. yeah. Ride the wolf. It's a very small wolf. He's a very small, uh, a very small person. Love it. Should right. we follow them so we can keep stride? Uh, we will follow them, but I have to do something first. Uh, All right. Watch my back. Watched. Well, just, okay, thank you. Did you get that jerky? Did I get some jerky? Yeah, you can get some jerky, <laughs> and, and you pay for it. Um, the, the, the shopkeep is a little glad to see you go. Uh, so <laughs> Mind your own business. <laughs> uh, what you got? Teriyaki? 
I got a selection of whatever it was they had. They didn't have labels on it. They ought to take <laughs> this one. Yeah, Seems it's... to be from some sort of local mammal. Is that bird? Uh, yeah, oh, there's, there's like a mammal. shell in there somewhere, yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe not mammal. <laughs> well, I'm sure it's going to be delicious. A shell and some hair. <laughs> All warm-blooded <laughs> creatures taste vaguely the same to me. <laughs> it's a kappa. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, right, uh, unlabeled meat. I'll be right back. <laughs> so I'm going to head over to the car. I hate meat labels. <laughs> I know. Uh, so Label they've, meat. they've got a system of communication coming out of the town, right? And it can... There, there, you see a single comm tower um, sort of located inside the town, like a spire that goes up. Okay. Um, it doesn't look like it can handle... Uh, it's not big enough to handle communications between this town and, like, distant locations, but it's, like, kind of a local area. Um, okay. Know. And what kind of capabilities does our car have? Nothing really. Nothing. Nothing substantial like that. You're you're outside of the. I'm gonna freaking write this down. What is it called? The the web, the internet, the. The infosphere. Infos. Infosphere. Info sphere. <laughs> I will get this right one of these seasons. You're gonna do great. Um, so you're your great access season. to the infosphere uh, is is down. Uh, you're you're way outside of the uh, of the three G grid. Okay. Um, so. Well, I'll check that, and I guess never mind. That's not gonna work. <laughs> We're in the podunks. Yep. So, uh, yeah. So they've got local communications and not much else besides that. Man, all right. Well, let's go uh, see where they're headed, huh? Uh, I'd like to. While or are, are, are we done with their scene? I want to make sure I'm not stuck. Uh, yes, shows. yes, we are done with their yeah, scene. We're wrapped up. Um, take down those. Scriptures. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Great. Uh, I would like to run a quick detect magic while okay. calling this kid, just to on on um on on our new friend here who's riding this wolf. Are you going to attempt to do that discreetly? Yeah, I'm going to do that discreetly. Okay. Um, uh, give me give me a, like a sleight of hand roll. <laughs> you mean the thing I don't have? <laughs> I have four hands, but no sleight of hand. Yeah, 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 They're not yeah, very slighty. Because it's, it's too many to I got a let seven. Me uh, let me just see, like, what... Do they have, like, verbal, somatic, and all that kind of crap in this? I, I can't remember um, what is required to cast a spell. Don't right. think um, so. Hold on, let me just... Damn it. I'm, I'm rolling very, very let poorly. Let me just see. Oh, damn it. And then I got all I know is I can cast it at will, and I have unlimited usage. Ooh. Great. Um, it does not say just as standard action. Great. Uh, so, uh, so let's just say, what, what did you roll again? I rolled a seven. I rolled a seven. Okay. Because <laughs> um, uh, this casting magic like this, it does require some concentration. You're very new at casting magic yes. as well. So. Yes. Um, so, Thanks, like, Triune. he kind of, he kind of notices you sort of uh, 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 mumbling to yourself and 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 casting a spell, but he doesn't say anything. Again, not it's illegal. Not illegal. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so yeah. You, you what do you uh, wave? Will you wave it over him? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what he has. <gasps> so it's more than just a uh, nothing. Mm. Um, he seems to have a gem inside of his holster. Okay. Uh, what? Do, do, can I tell what kind of gem? No. Okay. Presumably so I'm just like, attached to his gun. You got a gem. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. So there, yeah. there, there is a little, a, a little gem or um, something inside of his holster. Okay. That kind of, that kind of pings a little thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and that is all that you see. Great. That's, I'm gonna text that to you, so you would know that information too. Okay. Um. Gem in a holster. I'm gonna say, also text you. I am bad at small talk. <laughs> Can you make small talk with him to gain information, please? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and in fact, I think I might invoke uh, one of my abilities at this point. Okay. Uh, well informed after being in a... No, so you might have to cheerfully define settlement here. Okay. After being in a settlement for 24 hours, I can attempt a diplomacy check to gather info as a swift action. Mm. Now, does that mean a settlement just right just here, or...? 
the, I, the general area. I'm going to say that uh, this would have worked on Deepwater Prime, um, mm -hmm. but this is such a foreign, uh, this is such a foreign place that you would need another 24 hours to sort of reorient God. yourself. Okay. Um, with Forget Sebastian Skitterman or Colin. Skitterman to town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, damn it. Uh, all right, then we'll just do it the old-fashioned way with character work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Um, so yeah, you guys, you guys head into sort of the heart of New Ticlia. Um, you see uh, vendors, but they are all very well organized vendors mm -hmm. that are kind of lining a specific street between a specific area and another specific area. Um, uh, the, the town seems very clean. Uh, mm. The road that you're actually walking on is paved, uh, which is mm. unusual for a scrap wave colony. Mm. Um, As you know. And uh, yeah, you see uh, th there's evidence of new construction. You see uh, you know, a, a very small crane in the distance um, mm. that a appears to be erecting some sort of larger structure. Um, and you make your way into the heart of New Ticlia, uh, and there's a very nice sort of town hall uh, in, in, in the center, it's got a little fountain out in front of it. Yeah. Um, you seem to be doing rather well yeah. for yourselves. Yes, yes, it has been quite a project, but I think we are coming around, and finally we are going to put New Ticlia on the map, both literally and figuratively. Well, you're already doing a wonderful job. I'm very impressed. Now, uh, how long have you been uh, the mayor? This I've... all happened under your watchful supervision. Absolutely, this is all mm. my doing. I've been the mayor for the last two years. I come up for election in another two years, and I suspect that I will be re-elected. Well, I can imagine so, with such uh, impressive industry behind you. They would be fools not to re-elect me, but I must obey the election results no matter what they are. You should use that as your campaign slogan. You would be fools not to re-elect me. It's, 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 I will uh, come up with my own campaign slogans, thank you. Are the majority <laughs> of the citizens of New Ticlia miners as well? Or scrap wave? They're a scrap wave colony, right? We have a number of industries in New Ticlia. And I can bring you around and show them. The... I would be fascinated to hear the statistics of those. <laughs> oh boy, we're going to ask the GM to come up with things yeah. very well. Uh, yeah. We export the hard shells of the the wampa bat. <laughs> okay. It is a bat that flies and it has a hard shell and it has medicinal qualities. Huh. That is our primary. That is our primary. Export. All right. Mm. Amongst other things, there is some local uh, uh, flora uh, that is used in what I am told is teas. Yeah. Well, it seems that uh, you must be doing very well in both those fields. We are indeed to doing have very well. A thriving economy. Our is gross domestic product has improved two hundred percent since my time here as mayor. You really are terrible at small talk. <laughs> I am the worst. <laughs> Tell me about your trade routes. Tell me about it. No. <laughs> Lead on, Mr. Mayor. Now, if you'll come in here, I will introduce you to... Can we in gray, yeah. in gray negotiations? <laughs> I will oh, introduce no. you to the uh, the town Stop. controller. Not comptroller, it is oh, okay. controller, because that is how we say things here. Okay. And the controller will walk you through the process of paying both your fine and the proper... <laughs> and filling out the proper documentation for your, your Very right well. Here. Well, we have no objections to this. So thank you so much for uh, lubricating the process yes. this way. Uh, so you guys, uh, you guys head into town. Uh, you, you guys go Which to the controller. Which way is your prison? What's that? Which don't ask that. Know? We don't care. <laughs> 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 Never mind. <laughs> We um, may ask some questions to someone of a lower rank who might have less it. interest point in strange taken. people asking strange questions. And... Point taken. Point so taken. yes, you you go you go to the <laughs> controller. Uh, uh, Commander Dune Pook stands outside, um, and uh, the controller is just as you uh, would predict. Just sort of has a has a little booth, and they stand behind the booth, and it is just littered with papers and computer screens mm -hmm. and and whatnot. And uh, the controller, whose name is uh, Myrtle. Okay. Um, oh, Myrtle. 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 Let me just... Uh, let me, yeah. I'll, I'll figure out. Myrtle. Ah, there, there we are. Yeah. Yeah. This okay. feels like yeah, the DMV all over again. <laughs> Myrtle. Yes. Well, um, yeah, just fill these out. And and Myrtle kind of walks through the process. There is going to be a hundred credit fine uh, mm -hmm. for okay. breaching. All right. um, uh, the Queen documents, uh, which I assume you're going to put under your name, uh, do you have... Do you have an alias? Yeah, I have my name. Yeah. Do you have an alias? Do I don't have an alias. alias. Have, you, have the alias you gave me. That's true. Uh, you will be McIlroy. 
I am McIlroy. There you go. <laughs> right. Just as as you remember, your name is McIlroy. I don't know why. Ah, I you all yes. So, so get yeah. our own head next. So you can you can you can get uh, uh, documents for a mining survey in the restricted area. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a little more expensive. That's two hundred credits. Great. Um, in addition, there is a courier fee because they don't have they don't have a, a direct oh. contact to deep water, so they have to send somebody to the next crap wave colony colony over. Uh, that's gonna be a fifty credit fee. Okay, great. Um, and, and all this is gonna take about uh, you know uh, half an hour to fill out. So, Only? Okay. Yeah. That's great. Myrtle, you Sorry. sure do seem to have your work cut out for you here. Uh, yeah, it's a living. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, well, we're just we're very happy to be uh, doing things the correct way. We wouldn't want to end up in any kind of trouble like uh, the gentleman your mayo was telling us about. Oh, hmm. yeah, he's in big trouble. <laughs> what? It sure seemed like it when we uh, walked by the prison north of here. Yeah, surprised he could fit in that little old prison cell. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Which is about over there, wouldn't you say? Take a left down this street. Thereabouts. Right. <laughs> yeah. He hasn't had any visitors in a while, has he? Nah. He came here by himself. Completely on his own. And not a minor. Nah. Out of town. I said he was a uh, Xeno Warden. Still couldn't explain what he was doing in the restricted area. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, he yeah. sounds like a no good Nick to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's not actually like located on the outside of the city hall. Oh, well, yeah. But, uh, There's an entrance around back. How much of is his bail? Of course it is, yes. That? His bail? Yeah, well, but set it a thousand credits if you can believe it. That's it? That seems <laughs> kind of. Yeah, the mayor was pretty PO'd. Hmm. Let me tell you. Well, I mean, to me that seems a little on the cheap side. I know it seems on. I, I, That's I strange. Can't pull that. Well, perhaps we'll go uh, talk to him later about his civic duty. You know, like when we have good, honorable, upstanding people like us can really set an example and turn these types around. Boy, the command has really made an impression on you, huh? Oh, yes. We are now uh, real ones for rules and regulations, as I'm sure everyone in your town is. Well, good for you. <coughs> Without rules, where would we be? Football would be just a bunch of people chasing a piece of leather around. So I'm told. Yeah. Whatever that game is. Yeah, football. <laughs> space football. <laughs> if it's space football. Space football. That makes it that makes it canon if you put space in front of it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. We determined that. Um, so, all right. Well, so yeah, you guys. We fill out the paperwork. Yeah. Paperwork for about a half hour. Double, 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 paperwork scene. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Successfully uh -huh. filling out paperwork. Uh -huh. I, I, ironically <laughs> enough, space football is what we call tennis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. You don't use your feet. It's very strange, <laughs> right? <laughs> Uh, yeah. All right. So then okay. we're going to total off that way. You guys are good. You, you, you have, you have paid your fines. You have paid the registration mm -hmm. fees. Everything is now on the level for your mining prospects. It's coming out of, your it's coming out of my pocket? Really? Yeah, 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 it's coming out really? of your pocket. Yeah, the studio is paying for you. Yeah, but uh, put it on the studio. Put liquid, the studio. I only have eight ninety eight credits. Fine. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sweet talk. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, so now I'm down to 548. There I'm you gonna go. I'm going to get reclamation on this one, though. You better believe it. Okay. Yeah, okay, so uh, what are you going to do with this information? Um, I want to go down to the prison and see if we can uh, have some time with the prisoner. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, so you, you head over to the prison. and What, what, what time did I say it was? Uh, we said it was evening, right? I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, I think it was getting on in the evening. Yeah, so, yeah. so like... Eight uh, hours off the... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That we sounds right. And then we drove for like eight hours. So it's like... Mm -hmm. yeah, it's maybe like it's eight about 6 p.m. to, yeah, whenever we rolled in. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, you, you guys you guys roll up to the prison and you meet the prison guard. Yeah. Um, whose name is Ted. Yeah. Ted. Uh, Ted, the prison guard. And, very strange uh, name. So you you go you go inside and, and and when I say prison, it's more of like a jail. Think like a wild yeah. west uh, kind of jail. Yeah, love it. Uh, you know you've got 
uh, Deadwood. The, the, yeah. the opening scene of Deadwood. It's all so, one room. You know. It's like a studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I call it a clink. <laughs> it's a yeah, clink. the clink. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, but 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 it's but it's still space age, and so mm. uh, uh, the the prisoner is kind of isolated in the back, and you Great. have yeah. uh, a, a gentleman ball. out front uh, behind a, a plastic or, or a plexiglass window, mm. uh, who whose name tag says Ted on it. And uh, 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 Ted uh, it says to you guys, uh, well, you guys are outside of business hours. Uh, yes, uh, we're... I'm sorry, visiting hours. <laughs> yeah, crime never sleeps. <laughs> uh, we're, uh, I'm we're, very confused. It's we're been here a long to talk day. to the prisoner. Um, yes, as I said, you are outside of visiting this is hours. The visiting hours husband? are between noon and <laughs> one o'clock. Just, just this is uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, so Ted, is it? Yes. Uh, I, I, this, uh, this, this gentleman here is, is my husband. Perhaps you could make an exception. How far outside of visiting hours are we? Wait a minute. He's your husband? That's right. What does your husband look like? That? <laughs> you can't actually see in the back. <laughs> I mean, you must know. You put him in there. Mm-hmm. Ted, they He's are going. Got can we can several we limbs, <laughs> most of which is still attached? Blop, and the blop, head. You have such a good body. You have plus sixteen years. I year believe uh, he has a torso. <laughs> the most beautiful I was just eyes told I've ever seen exactly. He <laughs> looks like the love of my life. <laughs> okay, give me give me your bluff. So I was ten plus six, twenty-six. Twenty-six. Okay. Uh, let me see what he That is, is a decidedly average roll, and it's the best I've done all day. Oh, we're actually good. good at this. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, mm, not as good as 26. Yeah! yeah. Okay. Yes. Save so, your husband! So you describe <laughs> the person who is being held prisoner very poorly. Yeah. Um, and very inaccurately. You're doing kind of a cold um, read of the whole right? thing. Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 yes, you say, he's got six limbs, and Ted kind of narrows his <laughs> I mean, two, it it's feels like, like I six. I mean, some <laughs> <laughs> red hair, or I guess it's not or red. No or hair. Like, no hair. But it's got no hair at all. all. Passion. Then Ted kind of agrees with you, and he's like, never... and "What size is your husband's?" He's. Uh, oh. uh, what a question. Uh, uh, yeah. um, Thereabouts. <clears throat> well, your husband is <laughs> in crazy. a lot of trouble. <laughs> oh. Me, Ma will be so disappointed. I suppose for. Close family, we can make an exception to visiting hours just this once. As I said, we don't get many visitors here. I'm not sure how he got a hold of you, but it must have been the message that he sent out earlier. So. We are, our hearts are connected by a red thread. Mm hmm. Very well. And um, uh, Ted hits a little button, and the whonk door opens, and I have. Oh, a prison guys, yeah. guys, my son created. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, love it. Yep. So Desert we're space just going prison. to put that right on top here. This is the door that leads to this area, and it opens up. These are here. He's like, they're guards. I'm like, okay, all right, buddy. All right. All right. <laughs> and inside. Of oh, the prison cell, as you might have guessed. Yep. Oh, you oh. dirty. <laughs> what? Ah! It's a very, very unhappy, uh, uh, very unable to move. Yeah. You know uh, one's got this now. Is no good. No <laughs> still trapped. Wow. <laughs> so you see a large you can contemplative. It's the best prisoner okay. we've had. I don't know if you know what a contemplative is, but oh, it is man. a. Uh, it is a big-brained creature. I got my two favorite races uh, in my game. I got the Skitter Manners and the Contemplatives. Wow. Hey. Amazing. Gotcha. Um, so, yes, uh, you are you don't recognize him. No, I don't. You're not sure what the hell this is. Like there, say, you do. No. Hello, honey. Um, <laughs> how private are we in this <laughs> oh, Right, exactly. Um, I mean, he's going to be able to hear you. Okay. There's not a lot of privacy in uh, prison. Well, Speak as a general. Obliquely. Yes, I will do my best. Uh, she's burned <laughs> <I'm gonna> say, <laughs> And uh, <laughs> How does he look? How does Methork look? Also, I'm texting both of you that I found Methork. Methork looks okay. unhappy. Nice. He is not wearing the suit that he arrived in, huh. obviously. Um, uh, I, I, I respond, ask him how many fingers I'm holding up. <laughs> <laughs> and gonna... Methork kind of spins and he recognizes you and his eyes go wide for a second and then his head kind of drops. Where's your suit? They took it from me. 
I suppose you're here to take me back or murder me. <sighs> I'm still deciding. I am leaning towards the latter, mm. but... Uh, I wouldn't blame you. Why? What happened that you came here and... <sighs> well, I was wandering the desert for... It felt like... <laughs> Felt like forever, but it was probably just a couple of days. And um, I was picked up by a gentleman riding on the back of a wolf creature. Yes, we met him. Told I this was... This is your husband, by the way. Yes. Oh. All right. Mm-hmm. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Again. Again, as he we... He looks, <laughs> <laughs> looks over the camera. As usual, you I am look... so overwhelmed with my emotions for you that my assistant will do the speaking for me, as is our usual custom. Yes. Oh, play along. <laughs> you look very hot. Yes, and <laughs> you look <laughs> ravishing. <laughs> Can't wait to get my arms around you. I, I can't so, wait so, so, to see <laughs> your arms again. Uh, yeah, his little cards. Such as they may be. Do you, you know what he looks like? He is a oh, giant brain yeah, with a it. tiny stick <laughs> body. Tiny yeah, I actually, I actually have this. Is, Do you have any illustration? Yeah. Oh, yeah, so he does have He's arms. He's got little raptor arms. He has arms for yeah. those, um, everyone else. <laughs> um, okay, so he does have arms. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, this he, it's essentially just a, just a tiny little um, a tiny little emaciated body underneath an enormous brain. I love your appendages. So, I cannot wait to feel them pressed against you. <laughs> uh, what, uh, so, so you came here. You yes. were roaming the desert. Yes, you were running away from us, if I remember correctly, when you left us there I, and stole the I'm suit. Sorry, Pika Mika I is doing fine. I know. Do you? It, it, I do. I, I, I'm sorry, I was desperate. I had to, I had to get out of there. I for had what? to get word back to Akaton. And, and I apologize for the deception. If I could have done it any other way, I would have, but they would have stopped me and... <sighs> yeah, it was years, it was years down there. I, I had no choice, I'm... S I'm going to let you out of here. I'm going to pay your bail. And if you try to run, I will shoot you in the back. I will not stop. In fact, you know what? This all might end up with me shooting you in the back, but uh, I... I want you to tell your whole story to the rest of my team as well, because they deserve to know what happened. I can do that. I can do that. Uh, are you going to bring me back to the Eastern Conclave? I thought I just said I'm going to shoot you in the back. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm not joking about that. On the way to the Conclave? No. Are oh, you going to shoot me now? No. Well, well, I'm, I'm still deciding. I'm going to shoot you. Do you, you want me to you. turn my back to you so you can do that? I'm no, a little we're confused. Gonna, we're, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna wait till we get out of here. Okay. Threat or persuasion. <laughs> Threat or persuasion. <laughs> no, no. Carrot stick. Carrot yeah. stick. Carrot stick. You can't hit him with the carrot. <laughs> it has never worked. Watch me. I'm gonna go pay bail. Um, anyway. Uh, let's go pay his bail. Okay. Uh, uh you do that. Uh, and, uh, he, yeah. uh, what, what, what did I call her? Oh, shoot. I didn't, did I write down her name? Was Mabel? it Madge? Uh, Mabel? Mabel. Oh, was it? Myrtle. 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 Oh, Myrtle. I'd give you an inspiration Myrtle. if that was a thing. Yeah. Um, All right. Myrtle. I knew something. Theoretical <laughs> inspiration. Ted is the oh. prison Oof. guard, and Myrtle is the comptroller. I still like calling it comptroller. The controller, the controller, the controller. The con, the con, I, I was so mad when I, I learned it was just controller. The controller. Like, why does it have a P? <laughs> Friggin' break. Um, it's, not, it's not pronounced comptroller. No, it's not I pronounced was... comptroller. It's controller. Wait, wait, wait. The people who spell what? comptroller? Yeah. Do they know that? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Right. Do they know it's that? It's pronounced <laughs> controller. Wow. Dom, back no, me up on this, right? That's wacky. Controller? Dom, did you know this? Comptroller. <laughs> space controller. Don't hear his deep sigh. In space, they're called comptrollers. Yeah, and, and I prefer to call it. You can't say it with the P. I, okay. I, I know, but. But we but shouldn't. Technically, you're supposed to say it without the P. Like, you can say it, right? Is it silent? Am I wrong? Am I wrong on this? I can't be wrong. Let's see what, what happens when you go to YouTube and search for one. This of is important. <laughs> we need to stop. What? That said controller, didn't it? Controller. Oh no! He is silent. YouTube oh. never lies. We and the M is today. an N, apparently. Mm. Yeah, I know. It's so, it's so dumb. Well, this is the worst it's thing that so happened dumb. to me today. That's, my world is shaking. Let's, let me just shoot this wow. guy now. Right. Yeah. Wow. All right. Anyway. 
<laughs> Sorry. All, All right. right. Anyway, back to the controller, controller. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you go back there and you pay the thousand credit bail. Uh, you have to fill out a little bit more paperwork. Um, and so uh, he's going to have to uh, come back to the city, and so he's not allowed to leave uh, for X amount of days, and so he's going to need to come back to the, the closest local court, which is in the next uh, scrap wave colony over. Um, right, and he's he going might be to, dead before then. So. <laughs> to, to answer for his crimes. Yes. So you head back to the prison. Uh, Ted buzzes going, you through. Going. We, do we show up at some point? I'm gonna say know. yeah. I'm gonna text you. Yes. Basically. So yeah, let's let's find out what you guys yeah. are doing once you have this information. So, I guess after we heard, well, after whatever it was you were looking for, did we head after them? Yeah, yeah. I, I was gonna assume that we were gonna go find out where they were and then start to ask people if they knew of any place that might be like a supply depot around here, or mm -hmm. you know, some so get, gather some information and also find out where they are and get the lay of the town. Was what I was thinking. Sure. Oh. So that's what we attempted to do. Okay, so you guys, are, you get, get, sorry, you're getting a lay of the town uh, then and just sort of... Yeah, and, and maybe like trying to talk to some locals about any area that might be, uh, like supply depots around or, or neighboring uh, civilization. Nobody uh, really has heard of any supply depots. Um, uh, if you had to guess, you, ma you <laughs> imagine that it was supplied orbitally, uh, resupplied orbitally. Um, mm -hmm. Without without anything going over over land, that's just the easiest way to do things. So and, that's I mean, probably how the base is being supplied too. We would, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, well that makes sense. If only we had a ship. <laughs> if only <laughs> <laughs> orbitally. Well, okay. um, so yeah, that that that's that's what you would assume from that information because they, yeah they don't know any supply depots. There's there's really there's really nothing around the area as far as like other scrap wave colonies. They're very far out uh, from from anything else. Okay. So. Now sometimes you strike out, Beck. Hmm. I guess that's what we've learned from our years of mining. Yes. <laughs> are, are we not? Are we near people anymore? <laughs> <laughs> there's people around. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. It's not a, a massively populated, but you do see the occasional skittermander mm -hmm. skittering about in a very organized fashion. There are street vendors, as I said, mm -hmm. and um, and whatnot. So yes. Mm -hmm. uh, you imagine the population of of this town is probably about two hundred. Okay. Yeah. A thriving, skittering community. Yeah. Captain, I don't mean to pry, but you have seemed somewhat troubled since we've set out on this mission. Mm. Uh, well, I mean, you're right. Perceptive is always back. Uh, I was... You know what's been bothering me? Ever since we, uh, ended up on Methork's ship, <clears throat> I kind of wanted to call Brandon and see if... if he was alright. And what is stopping you? Uh, this... Cell tower. <laughs> <laughs> I should have called him in town, but I kept hoeing and humming, and now it's too late. Now I can't talk to him. I doubt it is too late, Captain. We will have another chance. Or we'll be dead. Hey, hey. <laughs> and then everything worked out anyway. That's a win win. <laughs> Don't worry. If he is dead, he will remain dead until later. If he is alive, well, I mean, yes, it, you have less time on that one, but we will make our way out of here, and then you will contact your brother. All right. I actually feel better. Thank you. I'm glad I could help. In the mines, all we have is each other. Yeah, that's right. Stick <laughs> together in the mines. <laughs> all right, so back to you guys. You guys uh, are in the prison cell, and... Yeah, I, I want to say we, we are escorting him I mean, yes. out of the prison cell. Yes. Come this way, darling. And we'd like to find a rendezvous point. For these kiddos. So when you are leaving, uh, uh, Ted gives you the basket with all <gasps> of Meth Orc's possessions, uh, including the suit. Ooh. Oh God. Okay. Yeah. She, that, right, I don't right. know what it is. But what it what else cool. is in there? Out of curiosity. Just the suit. Just the oh, suit. Okay. Okay, Just great. the suit. Just he's the suit. he's wearing kind of a. What is he wearing? They they <laughs> managed to stitch together a kind of prison garb for him. Okay. Great. Um, he's keeping that. I'm keeping the okay. suit. <laughs> around his whole brain? No, 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 no. It's just protecting all of his shriveled. Um, <laughs> are, are, are you keeping the suit like in case you decide to you like need clothes for a ventriloquist dummy? Or well, something well, like I, it's more like I. It, it seemed like an important suit for the deep ones in some regard because they were like this yeah, suit has well, like healing qualities, I was, right? But I don't think it did. I think <laughs> oh, it was just for him. Yeah. Was, oh, like, in, in the us. sense, but but like it had like some. For him, it's a, a powerful. Well, in that case, I don't think think so. in that case, just to <laughs> mess I, with I, him. Can I do like a perception check of it to see if there's anything salvageable from the suit? From the for me? suit. 
Uh, 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 well, perception like, check is not going to tell you anything about the suit. Great. Uh, if how how Other bulky is the is suit to carry? What's that? How bulky is the suit to carry? Fairly bulky. It wasn't a nice large crate. Uh, okay. So it, I mean, you're able to get it because you're you're big, but it's going to take. You all know four what? Arms. I'm going to make a decision with the team. Like I don't mind carrying it to our rendezvous point. Right. Well, okay. Um And then and then I'll see like if I want to like scrap. Just it take the boot it. laces out. Like It'll it. be real annoying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They'll have to find new ones. Yeah. He won't. Well, not easy. I love it. <laughs> um, is there? Does there look like there's a good dive bar somewhere around here? No. no. Does there no, look this like? This is not big enough for that. I mean, you could go back to the gas station. I mean, that seems to be kind of the main place where people do their shopping um, and whatnot. Is, is there a parking lot behind the gas station? Like a, I'm not like a dumpster? Go. Like out behind the 7-Eleven? Yeah, I'm not sure. going to go drinking <laughs> out behind a gas station. <laughs> okay. I am well, not that's, 14 that's anymore. That's the rendezvous point I set, yeah, is, is the dumpster behind the gas station. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Let's let's do that then. So he's, <laughs> he's floating along Damn. kind of sullenly. <laughs> Um, oh wow! I love the. So yeah, actually, out behind the garage would be a good spot. Little skeleton yeah, let's body do that. there, and yeah, he, he used to have a whole like floating thing. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, there was like there was like an arm where he would come down and float. And all then Dan and killed it. <laughs> <can't see> it. <laughs> he currently just has no, this tiny gone. little vestigial body underneath. Yeah. That's great. That's okay. Cute. Well, well, oh. well, you. Well, yeah, you well, see, you well. see approaching you a big, a big familiar brain. How's the guarding going? Mm, not so good. I can tell. Not so good. You're How great. many fingers? <laughs> Ten. Look, I just had one hand behind my back. <laughs> uh, you're right. <laughs> I don't know, four. Can you not <laughs> see things anymore? No. You're right, but I feel less impressed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I've, I've lost my godlike abilities. I guess I'm just a fallen angel at this point. So you're not a god. No. Oh man, that must be terrible. It's hey. a relief, honestly. <clears throat> where are you where are you trying to go out here? I was trying to get back to civilization. Honestly. You thought you thought going farthest away from civilization would be the best way to go to civilization? Well no, I came up about a day from here. Oh. Well I surfaced and was wandering the desert for quite some time. Oh. I was picked up by a gentleman riding on a horse who told me his name was Commander Dune Pook, which is, that's not my phone. He was, uh, he was riding a okay. horse? Not no, a wolf? no, sorry, a wolf. He said okay. a wolf, not horse. Wolf horse. A wolf like horse. Got it. Riding a, riding, a, riding a wolf like a horse. So, understandably, I bet you could imagine that we have some questions for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and before we do, I would apologize to all of you for my deception. If, if I could have done things any other way, I would have. As I said, I was being held prisoner. I admit, when you left, I felt very angry at you. Yeah, I felt like an idiot. But the more I got to know the Deep Ones, the more I realized they were terrible. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. They were pretty bad. We yes. have some capability of empathizing with you on this point. Thank you. I appreciate I, that. If it makes you feel any better, you were their best god. Yeah, they told me that frequently. Mm. Us too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it got a bit annoying after a while. <clears throat> so, uh, what's the suit do? It's, it's a phase-shifting suit. Ah, so that's how you were able to go through the rock? Yes. Okay, is that I'm all it does? I'm keeping this suit. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to fit. <laughs> I'm going to try and figure out a way to take the tech I'll from it. make it work. <laughs> it's made for a baby hanging off of a brain. <laughs> I've got to figure this out. <laughs> Didn't it I know, change shape I know a baby. It did yeah. change shape. You don't That's want invincible babies? <laughs> yeah, it did. It, 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 a baby. it is key to the specific... Um, the specific <laughs> Uh, DNA of the of the uh, uh, contemplatives. Okay, got uh, it. But um. maybe if you found the right guy, you might be able to tinker with it a little bit. Can tinker with it? He doesn't really Dude. need it anymore. That's I mean, fine. he was going to sell it, kind of to nah, purchase buddy. his nah, suit buddy. thing. Off planet. It's the suit thing. It was just a phase. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like Paul uh. could do something cool with this. Tolium, I'm saving this for you. Like, okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it throws up bolts. Oh man. Um, <laughs> sorry, that's probably like, like, racist. Like, 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 like. <laughs> Androids. Androids. Yeah. Right. All right. Um, um, so, where did you say you were going? You were going to. Uh, I needed to get back to New Akaton to let the let the council know. And then, what were they going to do with that information? Do you think? Well, 
it's a process. The information is discussed in the group, and eventually we come to a consensus. And once we've reached a consensus, uh, which can take days or months, um, we take the action. Are they likely to help us? I think given the information that I have, very likely. But I would need to present this to the council in person. And I... Getting a ship out here is... It would take some time, obviously, since we are out in the vast. Mm-hmm. Um, however, if I was able to book a ship, it would take a, a few days of travel in the drift. Now that pretenses are down, what do you think of Amaril's involvement? Amaril? Hmm. You know. Oh, yes. Um, well, he's he is a... Um, what is that? What is it called? The, the dark, the Dominion. Yes, yeah, Dominion. Yeah, the Dominion. Um, uh, the I've done some research on the ship mines. And oh. They are members of a of, of the Dominion, which the Black Dominion, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what it is. Uh, they are yeah, members of the Black Dominion, and while we have been unable to ascertain what their intentions are, we assume it is. Domination akin to what you've seen you know, from the Aslanti Empire. Mm. Um, any cooperation with him or with the Dominion would, I think, be incredibly foolish and dangerous. And what do you think the contemplatives would do after they helped? After they helped? Well, uh, you said they, there's a chance they might come help, right? Absolutely. What would For what? What would be the purpose of that? What would they gain? Order. Stable. Yeah, we need a stable source of drift rock for the galaxy, and so they would. I think they would be fools not to put the full weight of the contemplative military and bring it to deep water immediately. Ugh. Given the given the, uh, <laughs> are you groaning at contemplative military? No, it's not wrong. <laughs> but, 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 Beck is also just like, Ugh, all of you races are so frustrating. If you want to conquer something, just say you want to conquer something. <laughs> I don't think conquering deep water would be in the contemplative's best interest. I think defending the planet and establishing a strong defensive front here would be in their best. Yes, interest. yes. Bring in your military and control their supply. That's conquering. <laughs> I swear, everyone That's... except the Vesk is just so scared of saying we want to conquer things. But guess what? Conquering things is great. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Valid. Just say it. No, conquering things is great? I appreciate that your frustration is with all races as opposed to with just one specific race. It well, is they... like a kind of racism that goes so far past the line it just comes right on back. <laughs> It I is. appreciate that. Yeah. Race of Boros. No. Huh? Race of Boros. It is the race of Robo. It eats itself. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, exactly. Oddly I, noble in its way. I think it's very strangely fortuitous that you happened to find this tiny town. Did, did you track me somehow? Did you intercept the message I sent? You sent a message? No, no. What I, message did you send? I sent a message to the Xeno Wardens asking for them. This is just pure old fashioned good luck. Wow. For you. It sounds very, very like the prophecy. Or Don't tell me you believe in that. <laughs> the prophecy right. is real. I've told you that. And I stand what? by that. You should know that, uh, that Harkle died. Oh. Harkle? How? Well, it she was... was a good. She was a good ruler. I tried to help. <laughs> it was Jersey Driver. Jersey Driver? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He didn't mean to, but he did. Oh. It seems to match the prophecy, but... And then also their medical practices. Oh, yeah. They Terrible. helped. <laughs> you, you couldn't have just told us that everyone in the entire Enclave was completely inept at everything? Well, she did fine with me, for the most part. I mean, there weren't any serious maladies, in, 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 and so she, maybe she was just unexperienced. But Shoveler4211, she always helped whenever I had any issues, which was very rare. But Very surprising. I mean, didn't you have some scars and things, and... Yes, but those had mostly healed by the time I had awakened from my coma. Hmm. And, uh, all right. Jeez. All right, well, we all know they were terrible. They no were terrible. sense in yeah. reality. <laughs> they were inexperienced, yes, but... She tried to wring blood out of a rag into a vial for testing. Oh, <laughs> shut the fortune. Yeah. I'm never oh. going to forget what that looked like. It's terrible. Yeah. Terrifying. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, there may... She might not have been the best at her job, but... She was very nice. So, had a lot of passion. What do you know 
Do you remember things from when you could tell what was happening on the planet? How do you mean? Well, you had you were in touch with everything on the planet, yes? Yes. You were omnipotent? Yes. Did you explore the planet with your mind? Or? Oh, yes. So, do you remember that information? Yes. We're trying to get to a place, mm. and we'd like to know more about it. All right. Mm -hmm. um, where are you going? We're headed to uh, this base right here, and I'll show her the coordinates. Okay, um, yeah, you, you, have, you have a map of the area that you downloaded when you were still able to access the infosphere, and um, yeah, they're, they're, I mean, the base has been removed uh, from the maps, but you kind of, you have the general area, and he's like, oh, yes, you would, you would wish to go there, wouldn't you? There, there, there's a little Again. mark on the map uh, that's just like what the locals call it, and it's called William's Folly. <laughs> yeah. Williams yeah. Folly. Uh, can you catch a break? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, well, no. He wasn't actually. He wasn't there. I can't for, believe I missed for when you were there. So he doesn't say <laughs> again. Right. Um, okay. He just says, "Oh yes, yes. I imagine you would have a good interest in returning there <clears throat> or going there." It's been taken by something, or at least they lost contact with it. The stewards. Really. Before they left completely. Mm -hmm. When I visited there and. When I was still omniscient, there was a, a squad of uh, s stewards there. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I don't remember the last time that I visited there. It probably was over a year. Um, but yeah, they had a small squad of about, I would say, ten soldiers or so <laughs> right. stationed there. It seems like the supply depot is probably in orbit, so we'll have to come up with a new plan. Oh, oh, yes, it was, it was resupplied by orbit. Ah. Ah. There you go. Oh, okay. <clears throat> what other means of entrances were there? Yeah. In, into the base? Yes. Yes. I didn't do a thorough investigation. I was mostly just interested in the soldiers that were inside. But um, What can you then, tell us about the soldiers? Well, that? There, was a, there was a squad of soldiers. Okay. Uh, there was a lieutenant um, who was in command, uh, several non-commissioned officers, um, and uh, a handful of uh, corporals and privates. What can you tell us about the number, location, power of the ordnance connected to the base? Oh, yes. Um, that is was difficult information to ascertain. Deepwater is not a large planet, but um, I only had a limited amount of time. I was mostly interested in the individuals who were on Deepwater. Mm -hmm. um, these bases, as I understand it, the the silos that are located around deep water are all unmanned. And so it would have taken some time for me to go sector by sector and grid by grid to, and, and they're hidden, of course. So I couldn't tell you specifically um, what, what these, where these silos are located and what sort of ordinance they had. I know they were worked on quite extensively by the stewards. It is one of the first things that they did when they arrived. <coughs> all right. So, what do you want us to do with you? I should like to return to deep water so I can have further communications and arrange for my departure from this planet and return to Akaton. I don't think we could fit you in our car. That's a good point. Oh, yeah. Oh, that this is your vehicle. I guess we could put your yeah. legs through the sunroof. I mean, it's a hard <laughs> top. <so. laughs> uh, yes, I don't think that would be um, possible. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> oh, well, I have to stay here. I guess we can come back for you. Oh, uh, yes. Stay. If you could arrange some kind of transportation, I would be truly grateful. I might be able to get, uh, oh, uh, might be able to get Pika Mika to send some people to... <laughs> <laughs> just uh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very funny joke. <laughs> some PTSD. Trauma <laughs> uh, <laughs> is very funny. I did a six-part Ken Burns documentary on how funny trauma was. <laughs> yeah, I watched that one. That was great. <laughs> But no, uh, you're, you're, you're Space Ken Burns. Space, Space Ken Burns. Burns. <laughs> you were with Space Ken Burns. <laughs> uh, he's an inspiration. Do we? So we we trust him now. I don't trust him, but I don't know what else to do with him. What if we sent someone with him? Uh, to watch him. What do we? <clears throat> Actually, can you just wait here for a second? Sure, just, uh, sure, sure. Mind if I just tie 
legs together real fast. <laughs> Wait, that's no, not gonna help me. You can, Wait, you're trying my legs again? That's not gonna help me. He floats. <laughs> I, I can what tether him. Doing? I mean, <laughs> to a large rock. Okay, I'm just gonna trust you. Just we'll, stay we'll right We'll carry here. around like a balloon. <laughs> yeah, right. Do you see this rifle? Yes, I have I have no desire to run. I will I don't, shoot I you. I not go anywhere. Right. I, and she's just threatened just to shoot me in the back yeah, already. I offered to give her my back to shoot. You're gonna be fine. That's foolish. Normally, it would be the place to aim would be the back, but on a creature where most of your mass is your head, a much more vulnerable area, it would be much clearer to shoot them in the head directly. Like Mira, or the cerebellum. think this yes, through. No. <laughs> Sorry, Beck, it's been long. <laughs> it's getting late in the night. This is obviously very true. Anyway, just stay here a second. All right. Mm -hmm. Side meeting. Side meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Crew meeting! <laughs> Crew meeting! He kind of Hi. floats out of earshot. <laughs> Very polite. I mean, there's nothing else to get from this guy, right? I don't think so, but I, I mean, want to make sure. Are we? Are, we're sure. Our best bet is to is to use him as a diplomat for the other contemplatives, right? Mm -hmm. We so, may need allies against those. Uh, Aslanti? Uh, the no, the other ones. <laughs> uh, the ones I thought were a oh, basketball team. The, <laughs> the Dominion. The Dominion. Oh, yeah. Black Dominion. Dominion. I mean, they are a basketball team, to be fair. That's just right. a different thing. But it's different. <laughs> <laughs> it's different. So, uh, yeah, I think we just use him all as right. a diplomat. We need all the help we can get. It right. doesn't help to alienate him. Or uh, Dominion, of the, Dominion, Dominion of, of the Black. Dominion of the Black. Do you still have that tracker? Can we put it on him? Uh, sure, I will just... Press it into one of his little clefts there. Well, uh, just ask him I, keep think, I, I have I, uh, I have twenty tracking bugs. Well, I don't know what 19, the point 18. is. I mean, he can just take a tracking bug out whenever That's he gets very away true. from us. I think well, How would he reach it? It's <laughs> 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 a good point, but I don't want to alienate him either, as All much right. as possible. So I so. say we just come back for him and let him go. All right. All right, well, we can set him up at this sort of 11 to 7 place with uh, some jerky and a, and a nice glass of whatever it is they drink around here until we get back. I think this thing's a bat. This is like it's, a whole wing. It's like, it's like a bat. Right? That's what it looks like a wing to is it, oh, is, wow. it, is it good? Hey, you be the judge. It's actually fine. Yeah. It's just fine. <laughs> it's just fine. It's just fine. Just fine. <laughs> yeah. You're tasting mostly seasonings. So. Yeah. No, right, yeah. It's true. <laughs> hey, good news. Mm. We decided we're gonna help you. I'm keeping the suit. I'm very great. Oh, <laughs> you are. Yes. Um, Is that a problem? I mean, it's, uh, do you well, need it's, it? That was the bad news. The good news. It's the property of the Xeno Wardens. Um, but uh, it, the it, good news is we're letting you go. The good news is we're letting you go. <laughs> thank you. And we're going to help thank you, you for give... paying my bail. Exactly. I appreciate exactly. it. Yeah, I'm keeping it's a trade. Suit, you can think of it as a kind of trade. <clears throat> I should have. Some money coming to me, hopefully, if my message has been arrived, but it's going to take a, a bit. So, so uh, <clears throat> if you want to stay here, we'll be back, uh, assuming we don't all die. I mean. So, we'll help you get to civilization because it's in our best interest for uh, the contemplatives to help defend Deepwater. And I can assure you that when I return to Akaton, I will make the strongest case that we need to go with all due haste um, to help... Deep water and its defenses. So you, you have my absolute support, and anything that I can do, that I can bring to the council, um, would be greatly appreciated. I'm really, really counting on it. Uh, yes. Big nod of the brain. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that looks like. <laughs> and are you sure there's nothing else you can think of that would help us get into the base? Even a few names of the officers stationed there. Well, as I said, it was a year ago, and they, they did rotate out somewhat frequently. Um, How yes. frequently, would you say? There was an officer, there was Lieutenant Hammond, mm -hmm. who was in charge when I was, when I was viewing them. Hmm. It was the one name that stuck out to me. How did they get in and out of the compound? Front um, door with a passcode or a card? Oh, I don't recall them ever leaving the compound while I was watching. Oh. Hmm. <clears throat> yes, well. I, I, as I said, this is a large planet with a large number of people, and I can remember visiting there, but um, when I was there, it was a fairly ordinary day. Oh. I suppose that's what recon's for. Yep. All right, you good? You need anything? A, a little bit of money would be nice. No. <laughs> Sure would be. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but if you can't spare any, I suppose I can 
work on the charity of the Skinner Manors in town. How much was that jerky? <laughs> Money so, dollars. Here's enough for two days of jerky and some water. <laughs> wow! <laughs> but he, he looks at it in poker face. Thank you. Thank you. That's, I really appreciate appreciate the the kindness. Since motive, does he really? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a roll. Oh, no, I don't need a roll. <laughs> yeah, right. I know it's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta bust it. I'm like right in the fine line between busting his chops and like yeah. trying to not completely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's it's deserved. It's deserved. He knows it. All right, good. All right, shall we go? We shall. All right, yeah, you guys, you guys are good to continue on your mining survey. Mm -hmm. uh, you're fully documented, and uh, you have all the proper credentials uh, uh, to continue onward. Um, so, you do so. Um, oops, oops, dude. Okay. Every Ooh. time. <laughs> Every single time <laughs> I hit this microphone. Yeah. It's true. We should have a sound effect that plays when you hit the microphone. It's a sound effect. It's um, I would say bye to Dune Pook. Yeah. Dune Pook. <laughs> Goodbye, Dune Pook. So, yes, Dune Pook rides away on his... Uh, dog horse. On his dog horse. You may see him again. Maybe. Maybe. Someday if I'm feeling it. Um, and you guys get back into, what did you call it? The cheese motomobile? The motomobile. The, the motomobile. Um, and you... Ooh. Head... <gasps> Right, are you, so uh, you tell me actually what the heck you guys are gonna do, and I'm gonna lay out this battle map sort of inconspicuously. Uh -huh. right. my, um, <laughs> my guess is that from the information we have, we kind of just gotta go to it, right? Yeah, I think that's about it. We gotta go, yeah, we check it out, go see to, how yeah. to get in, and just take it, take it yeah, back. Yeah, just like uh, do a quick survey of it. it, like like see what the landscape is like, see if we can get any like like climb up into any places, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, see if there's any alternative entrances. Um, so yeah, you guys, you guys are kind of on the lookout then, as as you are approaching. Uh, I, I I assume that is that is what you were doing. Is that you're kind of on the lookout yeah. for features or unexpected things on the ground? Do I know if this place has any like? It must have radar systems or something, right? Yeah, like you can tell just... that we're coming at some point. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah. Absolutely does. Do I know anything about the capabilities and the range of those systems? <clears throat> um, it, it probably about a um, hundred miles. Um, it's a long walk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it would be a quick, it would be a quick, uh, quick ride in, in a vehicle, but um, but yeah, a long walk, like you say. So. Mm. <clears throat> And the terrain is probably not flat enough to. This isn't Kansas. We can't well, see. Well, I have far. desert no. stride. <laughs> yeah, so. desert stride. And you guys, you guys, I do if you still have some of that water with you, um, you would have all of your liquid uh, needs taken. Care. Oh no, we gave it to the brain. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. How long? See, a hundred miles. How long would that take us mm -hmm. to cover? <laughs> um, <laughs> That'd be like three days, three yeah, and a half, four days, it maybe. Would, like it would at, be at a, a while. Speed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something like um, that. I so, have, have to calculate that out separately. So. To be clear, just so that like I understand the implications of this, we know the stewards are abandoning deep water, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But these people are still stationed here. Do we do we think that's because like that's is is that weird or is it just not all the stewards have abandoned the it's, station? It seems natural to me that they would kind of pare it down as they go, and okay, they, they wouldn't want to abandon probably the weapon system before they completely. Left. I just want to make sure I'm understanding the, like the implication of like this place yeah. being out here, and it's not like mm -hmm. oh, it's weird that like they were like we're abandoning, but like some of these stewards are still hanging around. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's probably of one of the one of the last places that, that they would want to Makes abandon. Sense. Is the um, okay, so. It's the one formidable thing that they were able to install uh, into the planet before uh, the invasion came. So, and it, it was their top priority. Yes. Or do you need me to plug my ears? No, no, or, no. Yeah. <laughs> what? What if we just walk up to them and say we're interested in joining? Joining what? This, who? <laughs> Whoever's <laughs> there? Are, the, the are we even are... sure the stewards still control? No, the, the stewards have probably been taken out because they lost contact with their people. I'm saying if they're still there, and if not, we ah. just, just walk up to them. Well, we generally just wing it, right? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We just drive the, well, drive the motorcycle up as fast as possible. Be like, 
What's up? Anybody need help? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm just saying, I can walk 100 miles like it ain't nothing, but you all might not be able to. 500 <laughs> yep. miles. I've got a jetpack. I've, I've Climbers. Got a jet pack. I, can, I can carry someone with a jetpack, but I don't know if that would set off. Would we something flying we like super low in a jetpack set off this radar system? Um, no, it's 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 mostly <laughs> for small vehicles. I mean, eventually you'd be picked up by the you know the close. I mean, they, they have like um, uh, you know if somebody's firing a missile at it, it's gonna it's gonna pick that up. Mm-hmm. So you would essentially be the size of a missile. Um, it wouldn't right. be on the the wide area <laughs> radar, uh, but they would pick you up in the shorter area radar. And they have one of those one of those little um, machine gunny type things. What are those like like the things that shoot down Turret? missiles? Oh no, uh, oh, like um, the laser ones. Yeah, no, it's it's, it's, it's like a mini gun. It, uh, yeah, I don't know. It, maybe anti yeah, guns can help out. Um, but they're like mounted on they're mounted on naval vessels right. and they're oh, intended and to they're shoot down they do have yeah. a so name so idea number one we we <clears throat> write up just wing it see what happens okay. idea number two <laughs> yep. we find one of those uh, wolf horses See if we can get ourselves some of those. Wolf man, wolf horses. And then we rode up on some wolf horses. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, I'm saying we ride up about like 80 miles away from it on a wolf and then horse, walk the and then the and then walk the rest of the way. Yes. No, it's not a terrible it's idea. Like as, as long as we get close enough. I prefer idea number one. It seems more my speed, <clears> but I guess I could <throat> settle with idea number two. Plus, idea two would probably take at least a day or two. That's very true. How far away is it? <clears throat> um, th- uh, from from here, it's about two hours, uh, two hours of flight, um, which would probably be about mm, 500, <coughs> 500 miles. Oh! Let's say that. Yeah. We're well, that, that, okay. Yeah. okay, we've got to say it. Yeah. I could walk 500 miles. Okay. <laughs> I could walk 500 more. Wow, well, you'd, you'd be, a, a, yeah, walking the man back. Who... Then, yeah, I guess you'd have to walk back if you <laughs> walked 500 miles. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yep. Uh... Da 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 uh, hmm. and, and have we settled on an actual approach vector? Mm, uh, okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> These decisions. No, Make okay. a decision, All right. well, how, how about we, like, drive to... Let, I, say, I say we drive to 100 miles, and then... That's a pretty big distance still. Oh, right. Yeah, it is a, it is a big distance. But from that distance, you're, like, the fastest lizard on the planet. You've got striding. I've got a jetpack. We could at least get a certain degree closer until we get into the closer perimeter. Yeah. Perimeter defenses. Agreed. Right? So. Would you be we... able to carry the Yosuke? If if yeah, I mean, <clears throat> if I could activate my haste circuit the entire time, I could cover a hundred miles in four hours. So, it's oh, <laughs> still a long one. <laughs> Were you just doing the math on that? Well, I, I know I can run about 25 miles an hour when mm. I'm in hay circuit and running. Yeah, okay. That's, that's really not that bad. That's fine. So, how, do, we, do I know Maybe how closer close... to 30, actually. Yeah. I just do. Do I know how close the, the inner defense range every is? Every six seconds. Um, much more than Yes, so there's, there's a, I, I looked it up, it's called a, a close-in weapon system. Nice. Um, CIWS, the phalanx. Look it up, it's pretty neat. Um, and so there are, yeah, there, there are two probably that can engage targets within five miles um, uh, of, uh, of coming in. There were two that, at least when you were there, that you know of that could engage. Um, as well as some other turrets that were handling kind of closer in personal defenses. And so, um, about about five miles out. Okay. Where where that radar would pick you up, the actual distance that they would engage you is probably about a mile out. That's really not that bad. We could get pretty close. Yeah. <clears throat> I say we do that. I say we drive up to 100 miles, fly real close to the ground, and just hike it. There Agreed. Is, the, it, yes. it it's going to be tricky, uh, but yeah, you think you might be able to, using your superior piloting skills, um, do kind of a nap of the earth type thing uh, that could make tracking you via radar more difficult. Okay. But it's going to be a challenge. I'm it's going to require a roll of some I'm up to the challenge. If only your pilot wasn't incapacitated. Ooh. 
Oh, I actually have a really good pilot. My piloting. I know we're, we're actually good. all pretty good. <laughs> we're all super sorry, good. Sorry, sorry, Will. Yeah, <laughs> my, Dan, you want to know? My, my <laughs> piloting is plus fourteen. Uh, yeah, that's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. And I never get to seven. use it. I know. Well, yeah, because <laughs> we have a pilot. Yeah, piloting because that's what they use for uh, shooting uh, weapons on the ship too. So mm-hmm. yeah, that's mm-hmm. what you have oh, nice. So it's always good to have piloting. Yeah, we're gonna get to some space combat, guys. I promise. We've done it. Yeah. Yeah. We did it one time. Nice jeans. That was like. Yeah. That was. It was a pretty epic what, what yeah. a fight that was. Yeah, 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 it was good. Um, uh, so you guys want to start heading in that direction then? Let's do it. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. Um, so yeah, you you want you make a beeline for the coordinates uh, uh, that were given to you. Um, as you were as you were doing so, um, you're about I want to say 250 miles out. Um, you see wreckage on the ground. Mm. Mm. Okay. We will um, see wreckage on the ground. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you see wreckage uh, way, and, and sort of scorch marks. I just calculated it, and when I'm at my full haste and running, uh-huh. I can run at 29.3 miles per hour. Wow. Oh. That would be freaking terrifying. <laughs> oh. I just oh. shoot off at 30 miles per hour. <laughs> yeah. Someone uh, call him back. He's gone. <laughs> He's gone. I... I think we should do a quick search of this wreckage. Yeah, let's check it out. Sure. Okay. Um, so yeah, you guys, you guys slow, uh, slow down, and you kind of pull into an orbiting pattern, and you see what appears to be a looks like an APC of some kind. Hmm. Uh, in Ooh. fact, in fact, it looks a bit like this <clears throat> here. Oh, oh, oh no! Yeah. Dude. Guys, check it out. Sorry, Henry. Um, <laughs> um, I'd just like to throw it out there. We were like just that. looking for a Jeep. Yep. <laughs> and you had one. <laughs> <laughs> Detect magic. Just, just to check. Dig, you're out of range. Oh, damn. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's... Uh, do we all see the previously let's do, let's very... Do, like an initial perception check just to see yeah. what we can... Okay, uh, yeah, everybody, everybody just give me a perception check. Percept. Uh, really was a beautifully, beautifully made uh, vehicle once. <laughs> yeah, right? 26. He, he built he this, he built this sorry, like sorry. 10 months ago, and it was just sitting in a drawer. So, yeah. Henry, if you're watching at home, I'm sorry, but you would have done that anyway. We got to use it to destroy it. That's, yeah, that's it was dramatic. Yeah, it was so dramatic. Thanks, Henry. Uh, 26. 26. What are you rolling? This is perception. perception. We are rolling a perception. This is just as you guys are orbiting around. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All your face is all plastered. Uh, uh, to listening the side. to Flarm. Listening to Flarm because that's all that is it loaded in the car. I wish he had some other kind of digital like. Man, I want to go to the dog compartment all. as well and just see what I find in there. <laughs> I got fifteen. Do I get a benefit for dog vision or? Um, that's really just so you can see in the dog. <laughs> yes. I can definitely see the jeep in the dog. Yes, there there is a jeep out there. Yeah. Twenty one. Uh, twenty one. So sorry, who got the who got the highest? 26. I got twenty six. I got twenty six, right? Yeah. Um, yes. So you you are able to see um, scorch marks. It appears that this vehicle has been disabled. Um, you see wreckage kind of strewn about, and uh, yeah, looks like looks like there's some bodies down there. Um, what kind of a okay? Two questions. Yeah. What kind of terrain are we flying over? Uh, desert, but snow. Okay. Uh, is Patches there, of snow. So, is there any Something snow like covering? <laughs> is there any <laughs> snow covering snow. any of the uh, any of the wreckage? Say, it, say that again. Is there any of the snow covering the wreckage? No. My, the reason I'm asking is because like, does this seem recent? How long has it been there? Um, the, the the car or the vehicle's not smoking. Okay. Um, so it doesn't seem to be terribly recent. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's hard to say from this height. You'd okay. have to get closer. How many bodies do I think I see? Mm, you see probably about. Uh, with a twenty-six, you see about two, three bodies. Okay. Mm. I mean, um, it's hard to say because it's it, it, they're they're sort of piled in with the wreckage. Got it. Um, yeah. But yeah, you, you like you know. There's bodies without down vision there. magnification, without getting any closer. You would say like two or three bodies. There are bodies down there. Usually, I would say leave them, but they seem pretty immobile. Mm. We could maybe get some information on exactly what happened to them and get more information on what. What kind Ooh. of damage is the truck incurred here? Uh, it is flipped on its side. Um, you mean like scorch marks? Or? Yes. Yeah. It's <laughs> like that. that. Yeah. <laughs> it's looking bad. So it looks like it was blasted by something. Like, yes. Okay. Yeah. Looks like it took a hit by something. Uh, hmm. Like uh, missile, Several lasers? Hits. Mm, hard to say. Okay. Um, like I said, you see scorch marks. I say we just get out and take a look. Yep. Yeah, same. All okay. right. Let's park this puppy. All, All right. right. <clears throat> 
So keep you, on guard. <laughs> <laughs> let's say you uh, let's say you arrive. Um, uh, I don't know where, where 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 would you like to go? Here, 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 I here. Would sorry. Like to okay, go, sort of yeah. approaching from the east. Let's say. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll say this is the the edge of the boat mobile right there. And place your figurines. Yep. Any way you like. I'm going straight up there. Yeah, I'm oh. going straight up there. Where am I? Too. I think you. Oh, green is axe. this you? Sorry. Oh, I thought that was me. That was it. All the way around it. Just did um, fiddling with guy out of there. Goodbye. My gun is back. Goodbye, Twilliam. This looks like I'm shooting myself. Goodbye. Oh, What's that? Oh, there's just yeah, people. Yeah, it kind of does. Yeah, I'm going to go the people, I guess. Mm-hmm. It was like you were blow drying your hair with it. <laughs> <laughs> it has many functions. <laughs> Just don't get them mixed up. Okay. Yeah, you're like, oh boy, the number of people who have had it on the wrong setting. <laughs> oh jeez. We've like, had hair have, dryer mode. A you know, liability. they were like, we're gonna have to recall this item. We're like, no, <laughs> no, it's still good. Too lazy to mail it in. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm seeing four bodies. Let's each take a body. All right. All right. Hmm. I will go for the dismembered one over me. Okay. <laughs> Very brave of you. I'm gonna yes. go for this one over here. Do I, keep an eye out for any sort of incoming ordinance or something like that. Yes. I'm no stranger to bloodshed, friend. I have seen a great deal of suffering. Well, I'm just worried that this might have been done by some sort of automated defense mm. system or something yes. like that. Yeah. That is a salient point, sir, yes. Mm-hmm. I guess I should have specified I will go for the nearest <laughs> dismembered. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, and that is, yeah, that is, as you get closer, you're able to see very clearly that there are several bodies sort of gathered. Can I, can you pass me can I move stealthily? I'm sure there's no need, but... Uh... Yeah, you can move stealthily. Okay. Uh, well. give, me, give me a stealth roll. Stealthily roll. Beck, if you want to just... 17 plus 15. All right. Oh, that's very um, stealthy. Oh, yeah, there's a 32. I'm very stealthy. 32. I haven't outlined um, my skills, but I'm very stealthy. I'm very good at bluffing and diplomacy okay. and disguise and intimidation. Sneaky. Okay. I'm sneaky. We're basically the same person. Yeah. No, I'm just <laughs> Except I'm a small rat guy. I don't have any pouches. Can you put things in your cheeks? <laughs> <laughs> Not as many things. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Like, some. Yeah, some. <laughs> they gotta be small. <laughs> you can tell both from your aerial observation as well as your actual on ground observation that the, uh, the place is. They're deserted. Uh, mm-hmm. There's no life forms. Uh, none of the life. None of the uh, figures that you see uh, in the wreckage appear to be moving either. Uh, just a quick detect magic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, you as, as you approach, you attempt to detect magic, mm-hmm. and uh, you scan over the APC. You mm-hmm. scan over all the bodies, mm-hmm. and you see zero magic Great. anywhere in the vicinity. Awesome. I relay that to you. It was all very technical. Uh, this so is normal death. Beck, Beck just is, is kind of setting up lookout as they look over the bodies, and he's going to take the highest ground he can find, which is jumping up onto the uh, overturned truck. Okay. As Slow it down. was, and kind of standing there, and he pulls out a computer mm. and ah, flips nice. the tripod down and just kind of sets it and starts, like, scanning the horizon. Yeah, the there, there are uh, several sort of bluffs uh, or, or, or a rock outcroppings uh, in the area, and uh, yeah, you see um, nothing on them, uh, mm-hmm. even with uh, a magnification. But it still mm-hmm. seems like sort of place that if there was a sniper, they would have mm-hmm. a, yeah. a good view of us. You know what, if, if you were to guess, you know, uh, probably that right there and that, either one of those spots would mm-hmm. have been pretty perfect. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's actually one over there to the south too. Ah. So it's sort of like a like a three, this is a great ambush spot. No bother. Captain. Yeah. I recommend we spend as little time as possible in this area. What's up? There are multiple bluffs within firing distance. Right. Okay, thank you, Beck. Uh, I want to try and figure out who these people were. So, like, just do, like, a, like scavenge their pockets. Um, they vacation. are, have been mostly stripped of clothes, actually. What? Oh. Um, I mean, okay. the clothes that, the clothes that weren't blown off them. Um, but, uh, but yeah, they're, they're wearing mostly undergarments, okay. sort of oblivion style. Uh, then in that Ooh. case. I never played I, Skyrim. I, I don't know what happened when you took it off. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Unless you have the right mods. Yeah. <laughs> hey. hey. Uh, in that case, I want to try going <laughs> to the, the vehicle and see if there's like any sort of ID papers in there. Like, Anything, mm. um, or is this equally stripped in there as well? 
I mean, the vehicle has also been stripped okay. of, of ah. electronics and equipment. Um, it was an unmarked vehicle, which okay. is kind of strange, but okay. sort of, you know, from mm -hmm. doing having done clandestine work yourself, that this is probably a uh, a clandestine steward APC. Great. Um, relay that information. Hmm. I don't say anything about it yet. Um, uh, <laughs> so it's it's I'm I'm just confused. Right. Um, what what species are we I, looking at here? Uh, so the species are as follows. This is uh, uh, android android um, lashenta, um, uh, human and uh, eoxian. I would eoxian. like to eoxian. Yeah, I would like to Maybe examine so. the oh. mode of death. Uh, using medicine, okay. uh, like sort of, yeah, autopsy report. <laughs> yeah, and, um, do it on the Aoxian, That's a good one. Yeah, and since that's an area of expertise here, I can use my expertise skill. Is that correct? Yes. Um, yeah. Give me, give me a roll then uh, for uh, for that. Okay. So to that, I. What, add, so what, what is what is exactly the skill that you're using? So this is uh, expertise. Uh -huh. uh, I as a, along with that, I'm dealing with the challenge that text tests my skills. And that is a class skill of mine is uh, medicine. Okay. Uh, I believe. I think that's the one that applies to you. Oh, yes. This I is an roll, thing. Uh, yeah, I roll 1d6 and add the result to mm. the roll of my check uh, as an insight bonus. Okay. Is that correct? I don't yeah, know yeah. If, I, if there's a hard limit on that, but no, apparently I... if I run out of resolve, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. I need mm -hmm. to have at least one resolve yeah. to use that. So, uh, so that's 7 plus 8, so we're at 15 plus 6, so 21. 21, okay. Um, yeah, uh, cause of death. So you're looking at... This eoxian. person right this here, guy, the, yeah. the eoxian. Um, yeah, the, the eoxian Cause was... Cause loss of blood. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, uh, uh, riddled with bullets. Um, and, and, and appears to have taken an explosive slug to the stomach, which mm. um, uh, expanded the stomach in two different directions mm. and uh, was, was cut neatly in half um, by an explosion of some kind. Gross. All right, I relay all of that mm -hmm. information. As an eoxy? Hmm. Does he have any identification on him? Does he have any identification on him? He's been stripped, or, yeah, it's hard to tell these with the Eoxian, but yeah. It looks like most of these people have been stripped. Yeah. Uh, these, these are all ghosts. Is it normal for Eoxy to be in the stewards? Um, more recently, uh, it has been, ever since Alien Archives 2 was released. Um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but it, it's definitely unusual. I kind of wonder if it has anything to do with the weaponry. I mean, we kind of were under the impression that the missile was an Eoxian missile, but we're, we knew very little about it. Uh, Wait, what, what was an Eoxian missile? Uh, <clears throat> I, initially, I thought that they, uh, the, the super nuke that we had uh -huh. was an Eoxian, because we thought it was the Eoxian oh. that, were, that were kind of funding us. Uh, it turns out it was the, uh, the uh, Aslantes, but... What, what are we hearing right now? <clears throat> Sorry, no, this was, okay. uh, uh, the, the, the winds have kicked up a oh, little bit. Oh, I thought good. it was a low-flying plane. Yeah. Cool, yeah, I yeah, also was good. worried we were about to be bombed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, guys. <laughs> no, no, the, the, the <laughs> winds have started to, to stir uh, a bit, and it's very, very cold out. Okay. So it looks um, like, uh, there's a small chance these might be stewards, but this is an unmarked vehicle, so I don't really know. I'm going to investigate the, the damage points on the vehicle a little closer. So um, yeah, give me a perception. Uh, give me a perception roll. <clears throat> 28. 28? Okay. Um, excellent. Yeah, you you, you <coughs> can see this was... Uh oh Okay. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, we'll get to you. Um, you can see that this was sort of uh, stripped, uh, the bodies were stripped and the vehicle was stripped sort of... Um, it wasn't meticulously done, uh, so it was done in great haste, so there, there was kind of some stuff that was missed. And and there is a, uh, a steward duffel bag, um, which had kind of been hidden by the damage. Um, the vehicle got hit by some sort of heavy, heavy ordnance, uh, whether it was a missile or a plasma a rifle or, or something, something big hit the vehicle and knocked it out. Uh, the, the two wheels were knocked out and that's when it kind of flipped on its side because they, they tried to get it going. Um, there appears to have been a turret on it, on the top of it, uh, that was disabled because it, you know, is an APC. Um, and so there, one of these stewards <coughs> happens to have had a duffel bag, and that duffel bag was sort of covered up by the damage. Um, but you you were able to see in there, and, and you're kind of able to get stuff back, and you see, okay, this is this is a duffel bag with the uh, the contents of something. One one of these one of these soldiers. 
Cool. So let's take a look. Yeah, um, and it's it's personal effects. It's <clears throat> it's clothes. There's a shaving kit in there. Um, uh, there's a uh, any identification. Uh, <laughs> Not really. This is this is from this is from the human. Um, uh, he probably had all of his identification on him, um, but this is just like it, it's the stuff you would pack for if you were going on a on a short trip. Um, oh, there so. like any pictures or anything? <laughs> no, no, no. He had he had all, all of that other stuff. Uh, it, it was either in his carry on bag, uh, carry on bag. Um, this this was essentially like his his suitcase where he's got a couple of changes of clothes and 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 it's it's uh, steward uh, casual clothes so you're still in uniform um, I don't know what do they call those like the there's like the dress blues uh, uh, yeah. oh, yeah. your civilian your civvies yeah, yeah, yeah. your civvies basically <laughs> um, I would like to walk up to the Lashanta okay hold her oh no and then that's why you get so excited words. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Brave words. We got to use it. Grave okay. words. Grave words. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, I literally just thought of it too. I was like, you know, I don't know the next time we're gonna run into a bunch of dead bodies, and then like, <laughs> there we are looking well, at Well, we can make some. Bodies. Yeah, we yeah. can make some. Yeah. Okay, it's like, so, I'll tell you whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> so you have right, to roll. Grave words. Uh, <laughs> it says a D percent. If you can't, is, is what the book book said. Make okay. it And then it's a ten percent chance that she starts talking for a minute. Ooh. You said okay. a 20% chance? A 10% chance. Oh, 10. Oh. oh, okay. All right. So I'm gra- grabbing my favorite dice. Uh, do you want it to be 1 to 10 or uh, 90 to 100? <laughs> 90. 90 to 100. Because no, that's more, isn't it? No, no, okay. Yeah, no. Uh, what are we feeling, gang? No, let's go high. Let's go high. High. 90 high. to 100. High. 90 to 100? Yeah. Okay. And if it doesn't succeed, what happens? It just, uh, nothing. She, it, she the corpse just goes. Yeah. She explodes. No, it's too low, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Give the old switcheroo. I All right. the dice. <laughs> um, and oh, it's good. This is just this is the first creature, right? Yeah. I think you can do it on each one of these. Oh yeah! yeah. Yes, our So yeah, the Lashanta, the Lashanta goes. <laughs> and Mira just like for a minute. Mira just like kind of kicks her. Do you speak? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it goes. It, <laughs> Do you speak um, whatever that was? She goes, she goes face down. Oh, she goes face down. Uh, and we're like jumping her like into the sand. And Tyler, what, is it? what is going on? <laughs> How about that? I don't know if it needs to be said, but I'm, I'm just scanning between the bluffs <laughs> as this whole thing is happening. I'm okay. Keeping an eye to make sure if yeah, there is. Not even distracted by a babbling. Just like, yeah. Nope. God. That's Same some, different day. Some kind <laughs> of security officer right there, man. Um, Mira is like. Keep an eye on her. Let me know if she says anything. What important. is it? I'm gonna. What is going <laughs> on? <laughs> yes, the corpse has just moving on to the next one. Screaming nonsense. Okay. For a minute. Uh, it's we nice still, 60 seconds. We still want to go high on this? Yeah, we still. Uh, what would what it feel like? Uh, no, in this exercise, it's best to choose the same door every time. Yeah, every okay, time. got it. Oh, is it? Okay, yeah. the Monty Hall, thank right? You, thank okay. you. Okay. Okay, so yeah. uh, you onto, on the onto the red one, the decapitated red one? The decapitated red one, thank you. Okay. Uh, this is an android. Song. I know oh, that boy. face. That was an eighty-nine percent face. <laughs> that was we were all eighty-nine percent. We came close. <laughs> and so and so you roll. All right. Him. And he's got a face on his back. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh, god. He can't be face down. Over. Um, I go over to the Eoxian. The Eoxian. Nope. No. Uh, <laughs> okay, got one. We got two more guys. We got two more guys. Let's go. Okay. Let's do this. What did they do? You and Lucky. All right. I'll tell you about this later. This Eat is great. You're cool. <laughs> so yeah, this has all happened within this bit. So you've got three babbling, yeah, yeah, yeah. three babbling corpses. Yeah, um, three babbling corpses. Great words, friends. This is great. <laughs> all right, and we go to the yeah. the, the black android. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on. Right wrong. One more try. One more try. One more try. I believe okay. this. This is the got one. A bunch of, uh, this babbling. is gonna be it. This is the got one. A bunch of babbling corpses. I feel it. I got it. Let's go. Oh my! Maybe we should have gone mid. Maybe we should have gone mid. It was eighty nine, wasn't it? The corpse opens his eyes and goes. Yes. Oh, get down! Get down! They're in the bluffs. What's going on? What they said. Who are you? Oh, God, we got a minute with this one. What's your name? <gasps> what who are you uh, who are you uh um uh, i 
Uh, my name is uh, uh, Private Private Jenkins. Private Jenkins. Uh, Leroy Jenkins, possibly. No, Jason. Okay. Jason, oh, that's fine. Jason. What's going Jason. on? Who's in the bluffs? Who's in the bluffs? I don't know. Oh God, yeah. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, we we we, we saw them. They were coming out. They were wearing green uniforms. Green uniforms. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. Wh- one of, one of them had a one, one of them Where had a plasma rifle. Going? Where were you going? Uh, we were gonna uh, 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 stop by New Tickley and, uh, and and eventually get to Davenport. Why? Uh, we needed to get. Uh, we needed to repair the. Uh, we uh, we needed to repair the uh, uh, communications beacon. Communications got beacon. Got damaged in a storm like uh, three days ago. I, we got. We are they got still out more there? Seconds. We got. We got. We got. Fifteen more seconds. What do we want to who say, are friends? They? Do you know who they are? Probably the Islanti, I imagine. Do you agree? Ten seconds. Yeah. Ten seconds. Um, Is there anything you want us to? No, 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 <laughs> do you want us to go tell kill them? I don't know. Kill What's them, going them. on? Bring me back. Can you get me back into Where's town? Home? He's done. He did. Holy shit. Yeah. Okay, so get down. We need to get down. Um, to the ship. Get back to the ship. Deck. Back. Have you seen anything yet? Nothing. Okay. Well, have I seen anything? No, you haven't. Seems clear. All right. But I don't think we should spend any more time here no, than we I have No, I agree. To. Let's get back to the ship. Let's get out. He said yeah. they were wearing green uniforms and said the Atlanti wear green, so that's good enough for me. So do the Aeon Guards. Uh, they wear okay. green. Why aren't they? Okay. Yeah, but it's the same thing. Same yeah, thing? Great, 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 great. Aeon Guards. Slick away. Slick away. Slick away. Is Lanty Come in slinking. Apparently, that's what he just said. I'm sorry. Oh, I missed that. Okay, yeah. Um, let's go. Yeah, Back let's to the ship. <laughs> Slow it up. <laughs> yeah, okay, are uh, you guys just go. going to leave the bodies out in the desert yep, sun? Yep, 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 that's fine. So <laughs> they desiccate? Mm. It's okay. It's okay, they can just babble off into the... I know we've seen a lot of stuff, but I'm having a hard time putting this one, like, in the back of my head. <laughs> that goes in the vault. Which? <laughs> what did I miss? What part? <laughs> yeah, the vault. Yep. <laughs> what part? The... the just the screaming, agonized bodies in the desert. Sometimes war is hell, son. And sometimes just strolling through the desert is hell. To kill them is one thing. To bring them back to life is another thing entirely. But... That wasn't life. It was... Something. Something else. The imitation of it? Hmm. I wouldn't be fooled by it. I admit, the concept disturbs me philosophically. That one who has already been uh, taken off of this mortal coil could be pulled back to this mm. lesser realm. Hmm. We should not contemplate this yes. now. We should move. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let us dwell for a moment That's and true. then leave All right. very quickly. Guys, head back to the uh, cheese motomobile. That's a good point. What is that? What is that bode for you? Yeah. Beck, I promise, should you ever <laughs> die, I will never do that to you. I appreciate such a promise. How long does it work for? Only a minute. Well, give how, or take how long seconds. can you use until you can't use it on somebody anymore? Um, I can use it. I, I, I don't know. I just touched her and she did it and I just kept. Like you can bring like a skeleton back maybe? You don't know yet? Do you have any skeletons laying around? No. In yeah. your closet, that, perhaps. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, the Aeoxian did it with that. Well, we do have. Uh, never mind. I won't bring that. <laughs> oh up. God! Oh yeah! Oh, oh no! Too soon. <laughs> hmm. Oh. I mean, I just thought that was a very sophisticated death rattle. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It was. Um, We've got the captain's dead girlfriend on a ship. Do you okay. have the what? <laughs> what? <laughs> It's a complicated story. Is that a euphemism? I don't think it, it is. is. I wish it was a euphemism. Okay. Yeah, I don't. And she, she I don't, wasn't like technically my girlfriend. I don't know. I, I think that is the, least, the ship. That is the least <laughs> concerning aspect of that statement, sir. I, I have to say. They keep her in the freezer. Where else are we gonna keep her? She has to stay in the. They won't let me have a brig. There's a chance we could still find the electrocephalon containing her consciousness. This is all... You're right, that's an entirely different quest line. <laughs> Everyone focus. This is all kinds of effed up S, is all I'm saying. Uh, these bluffs, let's... Can, can I do, like, a general perception check of these bluffs to see how far they span? Mm-hmm. To see if, like... Like, 
is the headquarters like do we have to go right through that little tunnel <laughs> i mean yeah that, it, 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 this is kind of like the uh leading into a canyon mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. and so if you have a tracked vehicle which is what they appear to have been uh, uh, traveling on mm -hmm. um they would have had to have come through this canyon in order to get to uh new Tiglia. um because the, the the bluffs kind of extend it in both directions Got it. Um, and and our destination is in the direction of that canyon. Um, no, this is this is this is kind of the entrance to it. Like a, oh. I guess they call it a box canyon. Mm. Jesse, mm -hmm. you're from Utah, right? Box canyons, yes. classic. Yeah, oh. real thing. Okay, okay. I live in a box. I know canyon. box canyons from them not being a good strategic place to be. <laughs> yeah, yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Unless you have control of the ridges, exactly. Okay. Then it's a good place to be. Well, how should we proceed? Let's. Uh, Let's not go through the middle of this. I open agree. Space. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Let's rethink our uh, approach. I agree. Let's try to stay close to some rock and still stay low. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so, did you guys want to check out the the bluffs? Then uh, that was that what you were saying, or uh, do, does yeah. is there anything that runs kind of in the direction we're going? Any kind of bluff range or mountain range or um, no? They kind of they kind of run um, run east and west, um, and th this is sort of a canyon through this sort of formation, um, and and it, it goes on for a couple of miles uh, uh, behind uh, to the south um, off toward Nuticlia. Uh, so if you're going north, uh, there doesn't appear to be any visible features from where you guys are at right now. It was kind of an kind of an open tundra y slash deserty type plain. All right. Well, I guess there's no choice then. We'll just go where we can, and if we can't, if we do end up seeing something that's not too out of the way, kind of skirt along rock mm. like sheets, but okay. do what we got to do. Let yeah, me know gonna... if we see any other dead bodies. Mm. <laughs> there, there are going to be like you know depressions and and, and various formations probably <laughs> as you approach. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Um, but but for right now, it's just kind of an open space up to the north. All right. well, no other way but to do it. So okay, mm. let's do it. Cool. Nothing so I'm just going to gonna, but to just do gonna it. get back into uh, get back into the car without checking the uh, without checking the bus first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I you mean, say that. Maybe can I do a perception I feel check? Like, I, I feel mean, like we have to commit like, yeah. to the path we took. Because I am an honest player. With you. I mean, okay, we were... how much snow is on, is there any frost, how old were the bodies again when you checked them? Um, how long have they been Probably here? about a day or two. Okay. They've gotten quite rigor mortisy. Because if there's any kind of scouting party, we would want to take them out on the way in, but there's no way to know if they're still here or not. And it may, it may be kind of, it may take us more time than it's worth to yeah. kind of scout around looking for uh -huh. something that may or may uh -huh. not be here. Yeah. And also more chance of being discovered if we kind Agreed. of fiddle around. Agreed. So I say we take a good hard look through the scopes. If we don't see anything... We keep moving. Mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, anybody who's looking through the scope at the bluffs, then give me a perception check. I'll throw my line. Ooh, I'll do that, since I've been looking at the bluffs. You don't want yes. entire time. <laughs> yes, this entire time. <laughs> oh, net 20! All I've been doing! I got a net 20 plus I got a no. oh, yeah, 11. Go. Plus I'll one for expertise. Net 20. I'm so pretty... <laughs> It says from my skills. That's a class skill, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it was only a plus one on yeah. a nat 20. On a nat 20. All right. <laughs> so 32. Wait, 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 hold on. Let me see that again. Perception? Yeah, here. It was... Check it. Oh, oh, perception? Okay, I think it's the difference between a 31 it's, and a 32. An 11. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, but I rolled a natural 20 and this was a... That was the expertise Oh, I see. Die. Oh, the, okay. You're That's the expertise that. Apparently, yeah. That. So it's 32. Okay. I get to add the expertise. Uh, I should have been doing this the whole time. Oh, yeah. Okay. But anything I'm trained in or... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very skillful person. I'm very skillful. Uh, I just and, need to have results. So, uh, what did you roll? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. I got an eleven. Eleven. Mm -hmm. I got like a fifteen. I got an eleven. Okay. Um, so, when at what point do you guys conduct this? As, as you were sitting at the car, you take a good hard look at the bluffs, or do you actually get up in the car and do you start? Getting closer to the bluffs. It almost so sounds like last minute before turning the key in the ignition. It's like, wait a minute yeah, yeah. before we leave. Yeah, agreed. I, I did say that. I That's would true. argue I have been actively examining <laughs> yeah. the bluffs That's for true, some yeah. time. Yes, you have. You, have, you absolutely have been. Yeah. I would say we'll take a look before we start the car, mm. and then maybe I don't like I would go as high as I feel like the radar would be able to not sense, mm. Mm -hmm. and then get a little bit of a uh, little bit of height. As much as possible without getting too. So yeah, uh, Beck, I, I I will give you this. Um, you did not see any movement. Sure. Um, uh, on the bluffs, um, uh, it it was it was hard to to pick out. I mean, you have 
a spot that you assume would be the best location for yeah. a enemy to be located at. And I guess what I would say is that if, if I see one and I'm like, if I was trying to ambush these people, this is the bluff I'd go mm -hmm. on, I would inform Yes. The, Yes, and 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 so th this is the, using your using your military tactics and knowledge. You would relay that to the group. Um, having, that one. having actually amazing eyesight, however, uh, um, uh, even even with the the um, uh, scope on your sure. on your weapon, um, you, you weren't able to detect anything. And so, yep, but using that same level of magnification, Sebastian uh, is able to sort of pick things out more specifically on the bluffs. <laughs> and in the seas on the bluffs, there is a glint of some kind of metallic object Ooh. in the bluff to the east. <laughs> There's a glint of some kind of a metallic object on the bluff to the east. The bluff to the east? There's like almost 0% chance that's a good thing. And in, mm. in the spot that you informed him to look, or that, that you instructed him in to look. In the sure. spot that you informed me to look. <laughs> <laughs> informed me. That matches up with what I would have expected. Well, it's either some kind of communication tower or probably some kind of defense. Hmm. How good a shot is the best shot on our team, and what is our current range? I'm pretty good, but my range isn't great. Mm. Computer! Doesn't um, is a weapon of mass destruction, not a uh, distance weapon. She don't compute that far. Same with my Solaria that weapon. That being said, if there is another firearm available, I could make a shot from quite a distance. Was there a firearm man to the top of the van? I'm not sure if anyone else has like a uh, rifle. Uh, not on Cheese Moto. There no. used to be no, a turret on top of the AP. It's my solar weapon. I'm strictly mid range myself. Well, should we be concerned about getting closer? Uh, that mm. might trigger it if it's some kind of defense mechanism, or is there really no other? I think we cannot live in fear, Captain. Agreed. All right, well, let's do this then. Let's be extra safe. It's not going to take more than, I don't know, a handful of 20 minutes, whatever. Let's go back, hit the bluff, and then come around the side so that we can get out of sight, out of line of sight of this object. Agreed. So you can All kind right. of uh, Death Star through the box canyon mm -hmm. and then uh, pop up. And go around that way. That's the mm. plan. Just be like, okay. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what you get? Hold a mirror up, like. Yeah. <laughs> Create our own periscope. <laughs> Love it. Any information we could find about those who took out this transport could be of extreme importance to our tactical situation. What kind of cannon do you said they have? Huh? Plasma, kind of pl plasma cannon. Plasma? I have a plasma, plasma cannon. No, they said he. Wow, wish we could have paid attention to the next guy a little more. It was a little distracting. <laughs> they were shredded by that bullets. That guy talking, and then the other three yeah, talking. Yeah, I'm sorry. They seem to be shredded by projectile weaponry uh, bullets and explosive rounds that detonated uh, after the impact. <laughs> Uh, now, are they? Uh, do we want to abandon the vehicle here and go uh, on foot? Uh, How far away do we think uh, are the bluffs from here? Um, you would say about three hundred yards. Okay, I believe that would be the uh, that, that would give us the most fortuitous chances. Yeah, Going can... in a vehicle with which throws up so much dust, just to say nothing of the noise, it gives us a disadvantage in terms of stealth. Yeah, we I could climb up. I could check out the bluff and report back. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, maybe we should try to leave it undetected for now. We might need you to take out a turret if it's up there. I, I think I could cover the ground on foot pretty quickly if you would want me to go there. Hmm. Mm. Yeah? Well, I'll go with you. Let's go together. Well, all right. I got the jetpack. Oh, yeah, right. I'm an, okay. Uh, especially a sneaky, sneaky little man. I might be able to creep in undetected and gather intel as well. I just want to throw my... Too, if I can climb up to the side. Right, here's so. what I'll we'll throw do. my resources right. into the mix here. Uh, get ready. I'll carry you in the jetpack. Mm -hmm. uh, Mira, be ready. I know you can climb this pretty fast. So. Yes. <clears throat> Alright, uh, so uh, don't mind me. I'll just pick you and like, yep. grab my hair. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> like, like a baby this beyond. Is... Okay. <laughs> All right. That's, that's, so, I guess that's so, what's happening now. <clears throat> back wheel, just go. And he hits a button on his uh, vest <clears throat> overplate. And just like a, a red like light kind of comes on and just flows through the entire thing. Uh -huh. And uh, you kind of see an after image of him sort of like start to preform every time he moves. And then he just takes off at a full run okay. towards the, the thing. All right, let's Which, go. Yeah. At 
Like so, the KDA music video? Yes, yes. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got it. That is a specific image. So oh, yeah. So, yeah. Baller, so baller. Friggin' pop star. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah. So okay, <laughs> I'll just take off on a run towards it, which is from from the uh, from the uh, cheese automobile toward the glint that you saw or yes. that, that uh, Sebastian saw. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. So yeah, it it, it is up on a bluff, um, but uh, but you think you could? Uh, well, I could. The bluff's like three hundred yards away, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you you be able to scale that pretty well. Probably. Okay, yeah. So, I, 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 so yeah, I can go. What did we figure out? It was it was. Um, Two hundred. I can go about two hundred and fifty feet per round. Mm. So yeah, it, does, it, so it takes you no time at all to to close that gap. Yeah. So uh, in flying over sand and uh, scattered snow uh, patches in like twenty four seconds, I can cover that mm-hmm. area. So it, yeah, it less is than half a minute. <laughs> terrifyingly impressive. <laughs> yeah. Um, and 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 Captain, you sort of jetpack into the air. Yeah, we'll and, take off after him. We're okay. definitely not as fast as him, but we'll be like. <laughs> mm. Got and it. then, uh, so I guess when he gets to the bottom of the bluff, we'll kind of just find a little lip to land on that's not too close to the top, and then yes, we'll yes, exactly. To maybe maybe mm-hmm. in through the box canyon, and then up uh, sort of some distance away, so you can close on it from behind. Yeah. Um, and then Mira, uh, mm-hmm. you're going to uh, desert stride behind. Okay, it, it, not nearly as fast, but still pretty cool. Yes. <laughs> you obviously have very long legs. I... Um, so, <laughs> but but yeah, it, it looks like you're walking in molasses next yeah. to uh, next to Speedman Beck. So, oh yeah. Uh, so. Beck, you, get, you managed to get to the um, the base of the bluffs. Uh, could you give me a piloting check uh, yeah. then? Do do piloting check. Do do. Uh oh. Not that great. No, it's good. It's, it's still a twenty one. Okay, it's still a twenty one. Oh, no, All right, no, no, yeah. Hold on. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. it is twenty one. Okay, cool. So yeah, uh, you're you're able to kind of d- 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 rocket through the box canyon, and you manage to find a, a it, it, there's a decent flat sort of plateauy type thing on, on on the top, and you land there some distance away. Uh, Beck, you close. You were the first one to the bluffs. You beat the captain uh, to where his position is. Okay. Uh, do you start to scale the bluffs? Yes. Okay. Give me an athletics check. All righty. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> Over nine thousand. That thing. Um. Ooh. All right, so I got a twenty-six. Twenty-six, yeah, absolutely. So, so you using your haste circuits, you are able to, um, you are able to find a decent handholds. You, uh, you fly up the side uh, to the spot where you saw the glint. Um, and Captain, you are just closing in behind. And Mira, you're a good distance behind, yeah. um, but you'll be there shortly. Great, um, love it. And uh-huh. so. Beck, you were the first one there, mm-hmm. and you see what was obviously some sort of observation post um, that, that had been set up. This is the spot you can do it. You have a direct line, um, and you see the thing that was causing the glint uh, was an expended missile tube. All right, so as I get up there, I go, and like, everything kind of powers down, mm-hmm. and then I'll flip my doshko out. And make my way up to the missile tube. Yeah, uh, the missile tube appears to have been sitting here for quite some time. There's this sort of sand has been blown over it. Um, you recognize it using your martial training as an IMDS missile launcher. Okay. Uh, Do I know just, anything about like what sort of mi- army would use that? Is this a? They're pretty universal. Um, uh, Definitely hard to get a hold of, but uh, expensive. But this is this is something that you would see in in any. Decent paramilitary force. Hmm. Okay. Um, so yeah, I relay this information back to the group. Uh, it's one of the most common missile launchers currently on the market. You fire individual mm-hmm. missiles as ammunition. And use damage listed for the missiles fired out with them. So damage listed. You know okay. that as well. So this isn't an anti-missile system. This is a missile defense system mm-hmm. for whatever. No, this is a missile. This is a missile. This is oh. a, essentially a bazooka. Okay. Any serial numbers or uh, markings on, on the- it? On the back. tube? Yeah, I'm, I'm asking back. But I guess technically I'm asking you. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. I'll let you relay that. Uh, yeah. 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 And then he can relay that information. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's right. Um, uh, no, there there oh. are no markings uh, on the tube. Um, is it warm to the touch? <laughs> no, it's nope. been, it has been sitting out. Uh, sorry. Okay. No, <laughs> I assume no. <laughs> yes, uh, it, it has been sitting out. It, it is actually quite cold to the touch. Okay. It seems like it has been there here for some time. Uh, no tracks? No signs of tracks around it? I'll check. Uh, give me a survival check. 
I you could have survived. I do. I have a plus nine in survival. Oh, that's Tracking good. is actually how you. Uh, you uh, do it. I got a twenty-six. Yeah, you see. Um, yeah, you see. I'm actually like a decent tracker, and it's never come up. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I, you guys didn't do any. I was all prepared for you guys to do a tracking roll down there, but you Woo! didn't do it. We just um, talked to dead bodies. It worked out fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Uh, so yes, there does appear to be a set. Uh, uh, actually, two sets of tracks. Two distinct sets of tracks. One with a, uh, you're able to see a a, a boot print uh, that has been it hasn't snowed uh, in the last two days. So you're able to see a, a a footprint and then a larger footprint. And you can tell using your survival skills that these are two separate footprints. Two separate footprints. I can't quite tell if one of them is more fresh than the other. All but right. They are different sizes. Okay. Um. Take a picture. It'll last longer. <laughs> no, just, just just take a picture. Take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have a camera? Or anything? I need some um, Yeah, you have you have a, uh, a sort of a com, it's like a cell phone camera. All right, click. Click, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> click. Just just something to keep uh, it. Where do the tracks go? By this time, you guys have arrived, and so you're able to oh, have okay. a conversation Great. with them. Where do these? You know, go? I have a camera. Can I have several cameras. <laughs> we can try. Do we, uh, let, let's try and follow the tracks, see if we get any uh, like idea of at least the direction yeah. they were heading. Uh-huh. Seems, seems, um, seems like. Yeah, let me just look at that real quick. <laughs> First diplomacy and now tracking you guys. I'm oh, nailing oh. it. It's amazing. Look guys. at all these secondary interaction <laughs> ability. <like. Wow. laughs> Um, I'm gonna have you guys rolling like physical science uh, at some oh point. Oh, stop. Yeah, oh, no, no. stop. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna find a reason for it. It's not gonna happen. Mira's just gonna drink it. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> true. Just put it in my mouth. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, while I'm sure doing this up, book here, I have been trying to figure out what the rules on jumping distance are. Yeah, I. And I have been scouring I, the book yeah. trying to find Jumping it. distance? Did because you just it, check the index? Well, <laughs> yeah, and I don't see anything about jumping. Hmm. And Hay and huh. says that. It affects jumping distance as normal for increased speed, but I can't find out what that is. Wait, you mean like jumping distance is in like height or? I want to know how how far I can jump. Like what's That's your long jump know. ability? Yes. You should have one for like you know, like the triple jump and the long jump and the high jump. I think I it'd be sweet like, if I could like nice. jump like forty feet or something crazy. That's fair. I can definitely jump further than my stride, so. Figures, right? Yeah. I'm gonna find. I'm gonna find. Yeah, it, it says swimming, flying, climbing, burrowing. They Used contemplated burrowing before jumping. It is mm. ridiculously easy, mm. uh, according to the core rulebook, to track uh, uh, creatures. So, nice. Oh, yeah? Um, yeah. Nice. yeah, as it turns out. So uh, let me just calculate this real quick. I'm doing this by the book, boys. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so okay. is... Uh, so, three creatures. Okay, so this is... Mm, oh, for per three, okay. Uh, plus... Okay, um, so yeah, give me give me a tracking roll. Actually, oh, because it is. I don't have tracking. Sorry, give me a survival roll. Ooh. Uh, this is this is to actually follow the tracks, not to locate. Does anyone have survival more than plus nine? I do not. I've got plus three. Seems like a potential Mira skill. It's yeah. got four. All right, I'll do it. Oh wow. You're not that much better at the battle. I, 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 I just almost am never the best skilled person because yeah. that's not what soldiers do. I know. Yeah. You get like, take it. You get like three Survival's skills per level. One. So. Yeah. Uh, oh boy, that's a three. So. Oh boy. Well, um, it, like I said, it's it's. I got a twelve. A twelve. A twelve is enough. Ha ha! Uh, All right. <laughs> Hooray for low standards. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is very soft ground um, uh, that you're that you're falling over. So um, the the. Um, uh, the, you could tell that the tracks kind of, uh, uh lead toward the vehicle, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then you see scorch marks on the rock, um, mm. where apparently they had jetpacked. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. and the scorch marks are on the, uh, rock facing toward the vehicle, so if you had to wager a guess... You bet that they jetpacked off of this bluff toward the vehicle. Oh, okay. Well, perhaps our sojourn here is taking us back to where we were before. I think they headed to the vehicle. Perhaps this explains why the various items on the corpses were taken. 
Hmm. Right. Maybe we oh. can find more of their tracks down there. Why would Islanti need to take clothing and other crap off of these guys? Who knows Aeon how guards. far they're... And why are, the, shift. why are the shoe sizes so different? Hmm. Aeon guards can shift to be whatever they want. Yeah, if true. they have the clothing, so obviously they're trying to make disguise steward. themselves into stewards. They're trying to get steward gear. Yes. Mm. You know what they say about large feet? It implies sexual prowess. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that. I've heard that too. <laughs> when, when, but it's snappier the way that you put it. <laughs> when you say Aeon Guard can shift into any size they want, where did you get that information from? Um, I, I no, I, I, I did, I, I, just out of curiosity. I yeah. did from, not speaking from a GM perspective. I'm, no, I don't think I don't think Mira like We're knows guessing, that. Right? Yeah, yeah. like right now mimic. I think she's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah okay. I, I know <laughs> that she can. Like, just guess. So here's just what guess. she thinks. She she thinks they can steal the faces of other people, right? And so like that's like that's what she thinks. She's like they can shape shift to mm. a certain extent and okay. they can disguise themselves. So like her logical jump there is like if if you can change into like the shape like the facial shape of another person mm -hmm. like you know there's a million species in this you know galaxy or whatever like the chances of you being able to change size a little too is is not that far of a jump a conclusion for her so no she's not certain of that but i think that like it's it's not that far of a logical leap for her yeah. to make she's mm -hmm. like okay. i think they can so. Mira, Mira simply thinks she can disguise themselves as anyone Got so it. therefore they can be <laughs> anyone and that Mira being said yeah. So, yeah. that being said this is perhaps not a bet conclusion. This is a Jordan conclusion. Mm. But if the clothes have been stolen off of these ambush stewards, yeah. maybe they can change most of their appearance, but, but it helps if they have mm. the yes. uniforms or Agreed. trappings exactly. of people there. Exactly. Right. That's that's no, well that's that's He's also full what chameleon. Yeah. 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 That's 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 where she uh, I agree with that. Sure. Yeah. Cool. All right. Makes sense. I just wanted to see where you guys are coming from. Okay. You may be right, you may be wrong. Everything I right. know about the Islanti Empire, you told me. <laughs> <laughs> In this game, yeah, yeah, yeah. on stream. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so where where to next? You see that the, uh, the, the jetpack uh, likely led back to the APC. Are you going to head back to the APC? <clears throat> I mean, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Naruto um, run. <laughs> it's perfect to be face blonde. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you get back. You get back down to the base of the bluff. Um, climbing down much easier than climbing up. Mm. Um, and uh, uh, if you want to give me another survival roll to see if you can mm. locate any tracks down below. I'm just gonna from up top of the bluff. Just let me know what you find. All right, I got a 20, not natural. Uh, an dirty unnatural, 20. a dirty 20, an yeah. Uh, you are able to see uh, the impression, uh, you know, you, you scout around, it takes you about 10 minutes, but you eventually see a, uh, a landing spot. So you see one landing spot and then two landing spots, and then you see tracks heading in the direction of an APC very rapidly. Hmm. Mm. It seems as though they made some, they came here and then left quickly. Uh, do you know which direction they left in? I have the vague idea. You see some, as you're following along, you see some expended shells. Do I know anything about them? Um, I, I would note that Beck likes guns. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, a good point. Yeah. And this like is an established canon yeah, 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 passion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> many people. That's a very, very good point. Um, ooh. 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 Oh, um, so that's is that a good noise or is that a bad noise? For I'm us? into it. <laughs> I'm into it too. Yeah, these are very unusual. Yes. Yeah. Uh, All right. Uh, All right. Oh man, my gun collector club is gonna love these. <laughs> so yeah, normally normally you've got the um, uh, you've got the uh, the bullet sort of pucked into an end of a little uh, jacket. Um, and then you have the primer in the back, and you hit the primer, and then the bullet flies out. And the um, what is it called? That that's not a jacket, Jesse. What's the what's the thing that the bullet goes into? The little the tube the shell. The, the sh yeah, the casing. Yeah, the, casing. the casing. Thank you. Yes. Uh, so the the, the the casing is ejected. Uh, that's how a, a typical firearm would work. Right. Uh, at least the traditional firearm. Uh, not talking about a you know anything that's energy based. Mm -hmm. um, but this is not energy based. Um, this is most similar to a um, like a high velocity um, uh, type of weapon, magnetic actually. 
Um, and, and so this is a sort of a small mini rocket. Um, mm, okay. Uh, and, and, that and sounds it is, awesome. It is in a casing, and uh, <laughs> it is propelled uh, uh, by, by magnets along the barrel. Um, and then the, 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 the casing sort How of... How do they work? Rather, <laughs> no one knows. <laughs> rather, than, um, rather than sort of be ejected with the bullet, it travels along the length of the barrel, and then um, the, the, the little rocket shoots out the end of the barrel. So these and, are like little mini rocket rail guns. Yes, exactly. And, and, and the casing wow. sort of explodes out like this. That's awesome. Um, huh. So that, that's what you see. And, and you're able to kind of, uh, using, again, your martial... Uh, knowledge, uh, you say, okay, this is this isn't this isn't a traditional casing. This is like a magnetic thing. Hmm. Hmm. Conclusion. I express that. <laughs> <laughs> that sentiment to the is that, stand, is that anywhere in steward technology? No, and it's not there. Oh, Lord, no. So what conclusions can we draw from this then? Um, well, give me a uh, <laughs> conclusion uh, check. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's like 13 inside. knowledge guns? No, I don't. <laughs> that would be awesome. Um, well, there is no I'm culture like or. Um, I've got very good. I mean, physical science, possibly. I've got uh, sweet ass culture, yo. You got a sweet ass culture? I got a sweet ass culture, yeah. Uh, some culture. Let yeah. me just check if I've got. Uh, so yeah, you're, you're able to so, jetpack off the bluff, and so you're following along Beck as he is uh, stridering the, uh, um, the footprints. Oh, um, or culture. 22. So. 22. I can take my cultural seven, which is I can take a twenty on culture checks as long as uh, even if I don't have access to a computer terminal, as long as I have enough time. So that's okay. your discretion. Yeah, yeah. Or I can just roll culture, which is pretty good mm. with my expertise. So it comes out to oh, slightly better on the roll okay. because nice. I've got let's see, fourteen, eighteen, twenty-three. Twenty-three. Okay, good. Twenty-one, twenty-three. Uh, Jordan, did you roll? I didn't have anything to roll. Yeah, I got nothing. Well, oh, I, don't have any, I don't have any relevance. You were uncultured? Skills. Okay. Yeah. Um, you are not a So, yes, yeah, yeah, just other than a basic knowledge of how guns work. I guess um, I can just roll. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. Um, it's going to be, uh, it's going oh, to be it's enough. So, uh, so yeah, uh, you've, you've not seen these in action yourself, mm -hmm. um, but it is rumored that the Eslanti do use uh, magnetic uh, rifles. Magnetic uh, rifles with uh, sort of a hard steel um, jacketed bullets. So, like mini rockets. Cool. Mm. Cool. cool. So, yeah, the, but the, the guns that the Eslani use are, like you said, super cool, super rare, um, super expensive. Um, and from what you understand, like just hard to acquire because the Eslani tends to blow up or blow themselves up before any of their high-tech weaponry is recovered. Hmm. We gotta get you one of these, back. I agree! <laughs> Wholeheartedly! <laughs> yep. And so, yeah... The, you, no uh, offense, computer. At several points <laughs> a, a, along the way, you see that uh, they were kind of doing a bounding Overwatch type thing, so one of the Eslanti would fall to his knees and, you know, mm. uh, lay down and suppress a fire uh, while the other one moved up and then so on and so forth. Uh -huh. So very military precision is what you're seeing. They are certainly not amateurs. We should approach with extreme care. Yeah, seems like they're watching. I guess they would expect somebody to come and try to take their base back, so... <sighs> it's gonna be very difficult, I think. <clears throat> I guess we'd need to check all the bluffs on the way in. Yeah. Oof. Well, all right. Okay. Uh, back to the Bodemobile. Bodemobile! <laughs> if, <it's, laughs> if it's still in one piece. Okay. <laughs> it's dismantled. Exactly, like, ah, oh, my god, they took the wheels and everything. <laughs> so you guys, uh, you guys get back into the, into the Bodemobile, and uh, where to? Are you going to head <clears throat> straight into uh, the... So you're saying, like... The mouth of the beast? <laughs> well, that's across an open plain, right? Yeah. And the bluffs are kind of on the east, west, and southern sides. And the yeah, thing. so yeah, it, it's essentially you're you're starting a uh, a mountain range or or an escarpment, I guess, if I'm mm -hmm. using the right word. Yep. Um, as as you head south, and this is a canyon that heads through that, so you don't have to like climb up and and, and go to the top of it. Uh, um, we're headed north, right? You were headed north. Yeah. So we're headed away from all that crap. Correct. 
Uh, I mean, there's still going to be out various outcroppings as you approach and dunes and whatnot, but um, mostly this is you, you, you start getting into more less desert and more kind of tundra, which I guess tundra is still technically a desert. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you say this is longer than a minute? It's going to be <laughs> you're you're uh, about 250 miles out at this point, so it's going to be a bit longer. So I have a minute to meditate. <laughs> Sure. I mean, yeah, yeah. You got you got more than a minute. Almost cool. certainly. Because I would like to meditate for a minute, so I can get sidereal okay. influence. Okay. Cool. Take yeah. a hot minute. The sidereals sidereal in infest your brain and sort of circle around your head and That's fill you creepy. with the knowledge of your ancestors. Mm -hmm. Do I know anything about the more immediate surroundings of the base itself? Like, can I do? Can I do? I know that there's a mountain range coming in from like the east of the base. Well, I guess it's all south when you're. That yeah, the, where where the base is located, there is not uh, there is not a lot of you know, the base is like partially buried, uh, pretty much. That that's how they they avoid detection. Um, you know, you kind of descend into the base uh, uh, from from the desert, um, and so. Uh, it, you know, it, it does have a few kind of things sticking up. The base relies mainly on secrecy uh, uh, to keep its to keep itself from being discovered. Like like nobody knows where the where, where the base is, and so they built it in a remote location, <clears throat> and then they built this sort of no fly zone uh, area around it. So. Uh huh. Did the missiles up on the uh, the uh, the mesas? Did they seem kind of like? Did they seem like they were steward missiles? Mm. Standard issue. Could have been any military force. Mm. Well. I mean, we can almost bet that they weren't native Aslanti then if they were just standard issue for us. Yes. Mm -hmm. That being said, when a tool gets the job done, there's no need to use something fancy. True. I guess if there's nothing to follow, we'll, we'll try to follow whatever type of outcroppings we come across, but just I guess we just got to go for it, right? Yeah, you stay low and, uh, and, and, and approach the base. And so you get to within 150 miles... And you're about to close within the the radar envelope that you know of. Mm -hmm. uh, anything you want to do before you fly into the enemy um, radar? I'm gonna watch. Uh, I, I I can see you like meditating in the rearview yeah. mirror, right? Mm -hmm. Can I tell if you're going photon or gravitate? <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, I mean, this is. Do you a, have a tell? Pull toward so, her, or push away. So usually she goes. Um, I believe she usually goes graviton. No, photon. I'm sorry. Mm. Um, so I think I'm going photon, but this is like my plus one insight to both certain bonus skill checks. I'd like to put those on like perception and if possible. With, yeah. do you, you have to pick one, right? Like you have to choose which you one. You have to you pick. Want. I'm trying to decide between perception and survival, and I uh, think I might go for. Oh, right, right. I feel like survival makes more sense right now. Let's do survival. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Mm. So that's what I'm meditating. Cool. Anything else? Any so last words? Looking in the room, like, I think I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Fair. All right. Um, so yeah, the 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 cheese boat mobile, uh, holding the the brave intrepid crew, uh, flies to within 100 miles uh, of the is staying low, nap of the earth, but cruising along at a very fast pace. Uh, uh, flies within the 100 mile uh, radar envelope of the missile base. And um, as you are going up, you see a little red light kind of beep on, as in, and it's, a, it's he's got a radar detector. Uh, <laughs> you fly down, it beeps off, you fly up, it beeps on again. Hmm. And you close in closer and closer and closer. You're within 80 miles. Oh, yeah, occasionally we're... it beeps on, occasionally it beeps off. And well, well, oh right right well with the hundred uh, the hundred um, yard oh you mean hundred meters to the one hundred yard hundred miles right, right. from uh, in, uh, until you close to the base right. but well, still this radar detector means that if we are yeah. careful about where we stay we can know if they can sense us or not hey this dude's red and dirty mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. well I mean we could we could give it a shot see if we can stay up. but I mean once <sighs> we're detected though it's like pretty much too late right so, Jeez, Bodo's foresight. <laughs> it saves us. <laughs> uh, he is truly a blessing. I, uh, you I chose well, Mira. Hats off, Jeez, Bodo. Uh, remember to thank him for us, Mira. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, yeah, you close in uh, uh, 90, 80, me, 70, um, 60. Extra safe. When you get within 50 miles, uh -huh. the radar is... 
staying on far more often than it is off. Yeah, let's just And eventually it. just kind of locks on. Let's park it, yeah. Um, and you're going to park it? Well, let's put it down. Yeah, I don't want to... Is if it seems <laughs> I mean, like we keep hitting the yeah, yeah let's I mean, it's let's not gonna take be it a, somewhere that's out of radar it's range. It's gonna be like a parallel park, yeah. like a dainty, careful, just like yeah, if, if we put like, it down, put it some wherever it's off. And yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't delay here. Okay, cool. Right. So you're Probably. just you're just gonna uh, leave the leave the car in the middle of the tundra and walk it. We're going to jetpack and super stride it. <laughs> How close? Okay, you super here? stride that long. <laughs> right, yeah. right. That's true. How close are we? It's gonna at this take point? us like a very long time. I, I, how? It, I guess see, we're still like fifty miles out. Um, I'm gonna have to do the calculations. So if you're fifty miles out, mm, this is gonna be another survival thing, um, and this could be considered severe weather since you are up in the Arctic. So mm, yeah, it's see. going to. Uh, how as Solarians we have some protection against that stuff, right? A little then, bit. I've got I've got a no, really no. good Enviro suit. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Like, my 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 plate has environmental protection. Yep. Okay. So I'm some, good. Okay. I'll be fine. Yeah. But um. It's a long walk though. It is. Uh, you one stride here. Your movement speed. What is that? Over seconds? Over minutes? It's um, per like four, six second period. Six seconds. Yeah. If you have thirty okay. movement speed, then your run speed is like. <laughs> yeah. And that's like twelve cheap. miles per hour. Okay. That's jammed. So I go a little so higher than that. Mine's about 15 miles per hour because I'm faster. But gotcha. even, like, we, it's going to take us a while to make a... Yeah, we can't run for, like, a day straight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would take us, like, three hours, three to four hours to get there. Okay. You yeah, know, with our combined speed. Cool. All right. That's running, though. That's, that's like running. running. That yeah. is going at a flat yeah, we might not sprint. Wanna... I mean, we could take some time, though. Like, we, as long mm -hmm. as no one's going to freeze to death, we could take, mm -hmm. we could take, like... Yeah. All right, yeah. In game, it could take like five minutes, yeah. but unfortunately, yeah. we don't have five minutes because uh, it's eleven o'clock, and we are going to end the stream for tonight. So we have the Cheese Boto Mobile uh, parked about fifty miles out from the headquarters, and you guys are going to walk it in. You have appeared on their radar several times. You oh haven't boy. received any communications yet, so yeah. uh, <laughs> someone say something cool before we go. Like you know, like oh, looks like we're huffing it, and then cock a gun and stride <laughs> with the suits on, like something cool. And I'm you know. a giant fast lizard. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Catch brain. Oh, so guys, thank you so much, uh, you guys out there in Twitchville. Thank you guys for joining us tonight. We are going to be back here, same time, same channel, same uh, fun gameplay so uh, uh thank you guys for watching thank you guys for joining us um thank you guys for your support uh join us on our discord if yeah. somebody wants to exclamation mark discord you can come well actually i don't know if that's a command uh no it doesn't work all right no, no, uh, not, if somebody could nothing. just just go to discord and look up saving throw uh we have a starfinder channel you can come there and you can discuss the game with us uh i i show up there occasionally these guys they're far more than i am but they're much better uh, at player relations than i am i'm a coward <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah uh, you guys have anything that you need to uh, plug? Uh, uh, Wild Cards is back this week. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so um, for Friday, uh, there is on twitch.tv slash saving throw show, 8 o'clock Pacific time. Uh, uh, yes, there is Wild Cards. Uh, this is the next episode of our ETU, East Texas University. This is our Savage Worlds game. And I'm back in it. I was gone the last episode. And apparently it was like the greatest episode they ever had. Uh -huh. Wow. Uh -huh. But now I'll be back. It's going to be even better. <laughs> um, yeah, so come watch us there. And then also on Monday nights uh, on twitch.tv slash DD, you can see me on uh, The Broken Pact, which is a. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons Ravnica crossover game, which is very fun, and that's also at 8 p.m. Pacific time. So come watch me on those. You can also find me on Twitter at Jordan Pigeon. Nice, thank you, uh, Jesse. You're gonna be posting uh, pictures on your Instagram, yes? Where can people find uh, your <laughs> war pictures? Uh, let's see. It's just Jesse Durant. I'm just. I have long hair in my profile picture, believe it or not. Yeah. And I'm yeah. holding something. I am holding a pain relief patch up. It's hard to explain. You'll see it. <laughs> You'll see it. Yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah. yeah, I'll post some more pictures as soon as they come through. And uh, also, I always post stuff about the shows and like other types of uh, 
plays and stuff I'm in. So. Yeah, he's worth following. Nice. It's good stuff. It's good content. <laughs> Hector, yeah. is there anything you want to uh, plug? Or uh, people, no, people, but where I'm, can people find you? You can find me on Twitter at uh, Hector underscore Low and at uh, on Instagram, I think at Hector Low, all one word. Uh, yeah, come at me. Tell me something yeah. about the kind of games you like to play. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Give me suggestions for DMing. That's something I Hector do a lot. Hector makes his own board games. So. I do make my own board Ooh. games. Talk and about I'm, your favorite board games with them. Yeah, and I'm very happy to play online if ever you want to. Ooh, come play Pi Show with me. It's like my favorite thing to do. Wow. If you don't know what that is, ask me and I'll tell you. Yeah. Hey! Hey! Uh, my name is Raven T. Don't say. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at the underscore Raven T. Uh, usually, I talk about cartoons. This is my writing partner, so like we talk about our writing sometimes, or when he's not talking about board games. Um, I'm also on Tempting Fate on Sundays, and I will be back this weekend for cool new hijinks. So uh, come <laughs> join us and uh, yeah, roll some dice with us. It's gonna yeah. be weird and yeah. fun. Yeah. Awesome, cool. It's us. Yes, and last but not least, I am Boring Old Tyler on both Instagram and on Twitter. If you want to follow me, I'm trying to get up to 400 followers. Hashtag so unfollow close. Tyler. <laughs> Please don't unfollow me if you're already following me because I need those followers. I need to get 400. God, imagine if I got to 500 someday. I, don't, I, oh, I, don't, I would throw. Man, what are you going to get when yeah. you get things? Yeah, what, what are you going to do? Man. Can we throw you a party? It is so no. hard to imagine let's 500 followers. Party. And it's just like, it just blows my mind. Let's let's like, let's I get curious. Right? Yeah, yeah, let's, let's throw a party. Yeah, we'll do a party. Yeah, yeah, party. yeah okay. <laughs> we'll have a 500 Twitter follower party. If you get 500 Twitter followers, I'll take you to Shakey's. Oh my God. Shakey's. Shakey's. Oh, that's so good. Oh my god, it's official now. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I hear that pizza is adequate. <laughs> thank you. Um, uh, real quick, uh, thank you to Vampire 54 yeah. for that uh, that last minute. I believe that's it. Hey, thank you, Vampire 54. Because, yeah, Vampire 54 oh, was in the uh, Eastern Conclave. So thank you, Vampire 54. Vampire thank you, Vampire 54. Uh, uh, long, time, long time saving throw viewer. So bless you uh, out there. Thank you for the resub. Um, and anyway, uh, that is it for us. So we mm -hmm. will see you next week. Peace Goodbye. out. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.